<sighs> hey everybody, howdy, 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 good morning, good morning, good morning, and we are live, we're sitting here in Laurel Junction, Delaware, in Laurel, Delaware, inside Chef Fred's Cafe, it is another edition of Weller Does Delmarva, and you are invited to relax, and uh, you are allowed to eat, some people said to me last week, do you mind if we're eating while you're doing the show? It's fine with me. You're allowed to eat. Don't have any arguments. Don't make any large purchases while you're watching the show. But um, it's a weekly show. If you've never seen it before, we do it live each and every Saturday morning. And this is our final show in Laurel, Delaware at Laurel Junction. So anyway, I just wanted to say good morning. We're going to chat with Colin Walls, the uh, founder of TV Delmarva. We have found the founder of TV Delmarva. We've got to do a picture Found first. the founder. All Linda right. will stand there all day with that pose. <laughs> until we look and it wasn't even way. upside down. And it wasn't. Oh, she's got it right side up. It's amazing. <laughs> After we told her that 25 times, she got it. So I don't anyway. think there's really an upside down, but that's No, okay. right. But when the camera's upside down, it mm. looks up your nose when you take a picture. Oh, okay. I hate it. Okay. And it shows my triple chin. <laughs> I've worked hard on this triple chin. Okay, not everybody's got one. Okay. All right, Colin, what's up with you? Uh, well, I don't know. What's up, Jim? What's up? We are, Good week. Uh, yeah. It's our last week here at Laurel Junction. And it's kind of sad, isn't Thank it? Thank you. It is. Yeah, it is sad, but, you know, things change. And, right. And well, and, you know, we, we start out, we kind of want to be somewhere about six months. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, six months turns into 12 months. And then right. it turns into um, 18, 18 months. months. Yeah. And, you know, Laurel Junction has been very gracious. They have. You know, to put up with me and allow me to do the show and mm -hmm. take up space. And uh, so on, Mike Mercer, the owner, has been very accommodating. He has, and, uh, yep. It's been great. So, um, I Well, wanna... and it's been good to get to know everybody here, too, yes, as well. And so, I mean, good, not to good. mention the food and the bargains. Exactly, and, yeah. And the bargains and the yep. food and... The popcorn and everything. So. <laughs> right. Anyway. So anyway, we'll be at our new location next week. Uh, yeah, we've already just... been there. We've tested everything you know, yeah. to, to make sure we can get the connection out and mm -hmm. back to the studio. And, yeah, we can do it. We've got it. And it seemed to be working good. I think a big crowd's going to come our first week. So really? I want to throw okay. a big invite. Anybody out there that wants to join us next week, um, there is going to be free seating, free fresh air. Uh -huh. What in the world is Tracy doing we're gonna, in the background? We're, <laughs> we're going to be free. at, uh, let's tell them where we're going to be. Okay, Milton, Delaware. Milton, Delaware. That's uh, very convenient for you. It is very convenient for uh, me. Very yeah. convenient yeah. for Colin. And so that's why we picked Milton, Delaware. No, uh, the, <laughs> the owner of Beaches had reached out to me a few months back. And, um, you know, he said, you know, Jim, um, if it ever works out, I'd love to have your show here. Yeah. And um, I said, well, you know, I think you told me that a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. And he said, yep. And so he said, I'm ready. And, and he's so, just started. Starting to do breakfast, and that right. kind of is a good time. While timing. we're doing it, yeah. right. So it's the kickoff <clears throat> it is. to the breakfast at Beach's Restaurant in Milton, Delaware. Mm -hmm. uh, we ate there the other day. Uh, you got some shrimp, is yeah. that right? Oh, yeah. And um, I got crab cakes. And mm -hmm. uh, you've ate there probably more than me. Oh, quite a few times. Yeah. Quite I've, a few times, I've, yeah. you know. Yeah, Maria so, lives um, right in Milton, or her house is in Milton. So Did uh, she know about it before she knew about you? Uh, no, they weren't open. It was, it oh, was, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's right. They hadn't opened there yet. All right. So she didn't know no, about it. She didn't know about it. <laughs> okay. She knew about right. the one in Lewis though. Okay. All yeah. right. So anyway, so yeah, uh, what a great place. Yeah, it is. It is a great place and uh, good food. And I, I think we're going to have a good time there. I think it's going to be good for everybody. Right. And yeah. we'll be there for six months and mm -hmm. then we'll see what the future holds from there. We'll so. regroup after six months. Right. So if you're out there and you're watching and you ever want to host us for six months, we're willing to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. So put the, put the in order mind. in now. Put the order in now. That would be a good idea. <laughs> right. So anyway, but uh, I'm just kind of sad. In other words, uh, me um, too. This it's is it. it's been good for. I think it's been good for your show. Yeah. It's been good for TV Delmarva, and it's been good for Laurel Junction. So I, I think believe it's everybody has benefited from this. Yep. And we've had different guests that you know we got to know and right. Um, yeah. It's, I mean, Mike, good... Mike himself, Mike Mercer, you know. We've, yeah, he's quite a card. I mean, a character. He's, he, I mean, a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> we've learned he actually is a good guy. We he had all these people guy. telling us that, but we just didn't believe it. Until we met him. Until we met him. And it was amazing. No. So Mike has been very good to us. So, he has, yep. And all the yep. different Thank vendors you. that we've met here. Mm -hmm. And um, just it's been really nice. And yep. Chef Fred and the food and the cafe. And uh, we have our audience that comes every week. And uh, we appreciate it. So, um, yep. That's where we're at, everybody. We're in Laurel Junction today. It's our final show. If you want to stop down and say hello, you got time. We're here till 9 o'clock this morning. 9 o'clock this morning, and then that is the end of our show at Laurel Junction 
for right now. But the show continues on every next Saturday. Week. Yeah, we'll still be yep. somewhere. We're next week we're going to be at uh, Beaches in Milton, Milton, Delaware. Delaware for the next six months. Right inside, you can't miss us. So when you come in, wherever you sit, we're going to get to see each other. Right. right yeah. I'm kind of anywhere from three feet to thirty feet. We'll be close. Yeah. Oh, All right. Mercy. Prep for All the right. radio. Jim, Prep I'll be for back. the radio. Thank you, Colin. Thank you. TV Delmarva, folks. That's where it's at, and that's what Colin Walls has got going on. I hear the music, so we are sitting here. We are live. Good morning to my radio audience, my TV audience, my YouTube audience, and my Facebook audience. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We got a lot of different guests going to be coming up. The first thing we're going to do is roll the collage. This is a collage of most of what's going to happen today, but not everything that's going to happen today. So are you guys ready? Here it is. You ready, Linda? This week on Weller Does Del Marva, Tom Bull from Greenwood Mennonite School drops in. Chuck Creighton to Weller's Utility Trailers Chats. Georgetown mayoral candidate Ruth Ann Spicer joins us. Trent Collins and Kay Bennett visit. Nicole and Kenny Sheehan of Wheeler Park stops by. TV to Marvis Colin Walls of Walls Service Center checks in. We are live from the Laurel Junction and Chef Fred's Cafe in Laurel, Delaware. And now, here's your host, Jim I Weller. Can't, I can't hear you. Okay. Hey, everybody, Jim Weller here, and that is part of what's happening today. We do have an action-packed show, so thank you for joining us, and thank you for being here. And uh, if you are watching and you can share the show or call a couple neighbors and tell them about it, we'd appreciate that. Right out of the gate, I want to do a sponsor segment for L&W Insurance Agency. Uh, they're my insurance go-to people. I got car insurance, health insurance, life insurance, liability insurance, media insurance, billboard insurance, renter's insurance. I got all kinds of insurances with them. Very, very happy. I've dealt with them for years and years. And if you need insurance or you got insurance and you need a second opinion, I highly recommend L&W Insurance Agency. So give them a call. Phone number starts with 302 856-7828. 856-7828. That's 856-7828. Dial it in that order, lwinsurance.com on the web. Like them on Facebook all week long. They're posting interesting things, articles, stories, tidbits, and stuff like that. They'll keep you well informed. I love l and You will like them. Good company. And um, if you want a good insurance agent that doesn't abandon you when you have a claim, they get very involved. And they get right in the middle of it, and they'll help you out any way they can. Commercial, residential, business, personal, whatever you need. If you want to talk insurance, give LNW a call, 302-856-7828. All right? Now, I'm going to do one more thing. I am going to wish a happy birthday. I forgot who it was. So um, whose birthday was it today? Let me find it. Matt McCoy. Matt McCoy. A lot of people know him. Good guy. He's on the council in Seaford. Um, he helps out with the Little League, and he's just an all-around good man. So, Matt, if you hear me, happy birthday to you. And if you know Matt McCoy, tell him happy birthday. And if you have any gift cards, he will receive gift cards. All right? All right. What is next? Tom Bull is here from the Greenwood Mennonite School, and uh, um, he's going to talk about the dirt dash, uh, yes. something people get dirty on purpose is that absolutely, right absolutely yeah the delmarva dirt dash that is why i'm here today all right have you ever personally done the dirt dash i have not personally this is my second year a part of gms okay. and so definitely it was a lot of last year of learning about the vent logistics but being there i mean it was a wonderful experience seeing people Cross the finish line, the they felt like they had really accomplished something because we we uh, my team Jason Swartz and Trooper really make an incredible um, obstacles. Yeah, eighteen eighteen different obstacles. We have mudslides and through the backwoods. You've got the log run. You've got the monkey bars. You're going up the hills down it's uh it's quite an experience wow and to see people crawl through mud on purpose on purpose it's kind of fun but it's a fundraiser in other words it's a an event that raises money for the school absolutely and, um, um uh builds a lot all of the goodwill. all the proceeds go to the gms athletic department okay that is why we're running it but we also um 15% of all proceeds will go to our local uh, Young Life groups. Oh, okay. That's right. So so Young Life is uh, uh, groups of amazing people who go to the public schools 
and reach the uh, teenagers that don't go to church and give them the opportunity to right. um, to hear the good news. Yeah, and I so, agree. So um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great 15% goes to that, and then the other 85% helps us with our athletic department budget at GMS. All right. So what is your title at GMS? I am the athletic director at GMS. Okay. Uh, it is a uh, wonderful place to participate in sports where winning is not everything, and uh, the teams really have a great time just being together as a group. And the, all the all the teams seem to have a good team spirit about them. In Absolutely. other words, everybody likes to win, but it's more important to win in character, you know, and, than it is to win in numbers. And so um, I watch the games, in other words, and they all congratulate the other teams when they're over, and it's very cordial, and they play fair. And um, I think you do a good job with them, and the school's a good school. My kids went there. My grandkids are there now. And uh, Greenwood Mennonite School really is a blessing to our community. Yeah, um, and it, it's such a, it's such a powerful uh moment after a really hard fought win or loss that everyone usually comes together to the middle for a prayer and to just let everybody know that you know there are bigger things in life than wins and losses but you know ultimately sports are fun and that's why usually the community always wants to come out for a sporting event rally but around. um they you rally know rally around them Rally around them, absolutely. So the Greenwood Mennonite School Festival is coming up June 4th. Yeah. Okay, that's in a couple weeks, and um, that is when the Dirt Dash is. Absolutely, and I so. think that's a, uh, you know, number one, you know, if you're the type of person that enjoys a 5K, but you've continuously done the same 5K, maybe you put on a costume, maybe you've done a color run, but this Dirt Dash is a 5K, and if you're looking for something really different, we have what you're looking for. And kids can go, adults can go. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, if it's a family we, event. We, it is a family event. Uh, we limit it to 12 years old. If you're from 12 to 16, we'd ask that a parent accompany, um, you. accompany you through yep. the dirt dash. That can be a great mother-daughter event, a father-son event. Right. Uh, and the really cool thing about it is that your finish line goes right into the spring festival. Wow. So so you can we're gonna we're gonna shower you down, you can get changed into different clothes, and after uh, running a great race, you can go right into the spring festival where we'll have live music, food, food uh, an drinks, auction. an auction. Yeah. I think I think we're gonna do the slip and slide was a big really was a big fun for uh, the the kids. So how would somebody learn about this? Is there a Facebook page, a website? Where do they go to sign up? Absolutely. You can go to our Facebook page. We do, if you just get on the Google machine, all you have to type in is Delmarva Dirt Dash. You can sign up online, no issues. Okay. And you can find all of our information on our Facebook page. Uh, right page, which is you would just type in Delmarva Dirt Dash. All right, so Mother's Day is next weekend, I believe. So if you wanted uh, to surprise mom, you could say, that, Mom, guess what I've signed us up for? That is a huge surprise. The Dirt Dash. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Moms, dads, everybody, get involved, get behind this. It's a great event, and it's the lead in, and you go right, and then you're at the Greenwood Mennonite School. You're at the Spring, Spring Festival. Absolutely. And you've made some memories. Absolutely. All right. Anything else I need to know? No, you got everything. Okay. I really appreciate you having me. I got me on, some Joe. gifts for you. Excellent. Here's a Weller Does Del Mar of a keychain. Yes. Here's a Weller's keychain. Here's two gift cards to Vanderwins. Okay, oh. one, two. When one's not enough, we give you two. You can't then, go in with one cone. And here is two gift cards to go to the movies. The Clayton Theater. If you've never been, it's down in Dagsboro. Uh, they play in first-run movies, and there's two tickets to the movies, okay? Excellent. Thank you so much. All right. I'm going to let you go. Is that okay? Absolutely. You did a good job. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Jim. All right. See ya. All right, there he goes, Tom Bull, all right, and uh, talking about the Dirt Dash. I think Colin and I are thinking about doing it. Oh, we're done thinking about it, he said already. Well, we were thinking about it, but anyway, <laughs> yes, we're going to do it, me and Colin. We'll see. We'll see. I might have to do my show. Anyway, Vanderwind's Ice Cream, you heard me talk about them. I love sponsoring them. I mean, they sponsor me. I don't sponsor them. Anyway, so if you want some ice cream this weekend, you want some today, go to Vanderwind's. You can get a cup, a quart, a pint, a cone. Uh, you can uh, get a milkshake. 
They got them nice big straws that makes the milkshake easier to drink with a big straw. So check out VanderwindsFarmCreamery.com on the web and like Vanderwind's Facebook page if you would. Now, is it picture time? Our final picture. All right, so this next guest is Mike Mercer, and he is the gentleman who runs, I believe he owns, Laurel Junction. Okay? Yes. How you doing, Mike? Doing good. Doing I've good. I've got to tell you, I've been sad all week. I'm going to miss being here. I We're feel like I had such a good time, and this place just fits me, and I know we started out for just so many months, and here we are a year and a half later, and yes. I want to say publicly thank you. you are, we, thank you're, you. You're welcome, have, and thank you to you. I know that... Um, we got into markets and, and advertised opportunities that we had never had and uh, reached out to people that didn't know about us. It's hard to believe, and it still happens pretty much on a weekly basis. I go somewhere and bring mention what I do and what I own, and people aren't completely familiar or doesn't complain, right. completely I, understand. I, I get it. And it is a unique business to it understand is. unless you've been here. So uh, you certainly help us get that out. and. Nothing's well, forever. We're going through some exciting that's right. changes yep. here. You are. I'm excited and, for you. And uh, we'll see when those changes are done. We're going to do some uh, do some neat things with Chef Fred and and, and, and the restaurant area and the convenience store area. Got got an exciting summer coming. Right. And um, when that gets done, we'll we'll see where we are. Right. You're pivoting. Exactly. You're exactly. doing the pivot. Exactly. Without COVID. We're pivoting without COVID. Right. In other words, yeah. you know, uh, COVID made us pivot. But anyway, exactly. so today I see lots of vendors out there. Yeah. Sun is shining. Yes. Free parking, free fresh air, it's, and free sunshine. Yes, and just all kinds of bargains. It's, all if, kinds of bargains. If, if you don't need it, it's not out there for sale. That's right. So, or yes. it could be here next week. Because <laughs> be. the inventory is always amazing. Somebody's cleaned out their garage, yeah. or they went and bought a locker full of stuff, and they bring it here to resell it. That's and, right. Uh, it's, yeah. it's really kind of cool. So how many vendors are here? If you counted all the tables and the businesses, is well, there inside, 40, 50? Oh, no. This this weekend with the inside, outside, there'll be well over 200 vendors. 200 different yeah. people selling things. Correct. Wow. It's a bargain hunter's delight, in other words. And that's why I loved it here, in other yeah. words. In other words, because it's me. It fits me. I love a bargain. Because you can go walk outside one week or, or one morning, come back. If you come Saturday, then come Sunday, there'll be different stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, you never know what you're going to find, that's for sure. So if they that's have any true. questions, they are to call Diane. Is that they correct? They are, yes. What yes. is that? 302-841. I got that much memorized, the 302-841-5864. And yeah. her name is Diane. And, and she um, can set you up with a table, indoors, outdoors, uh, all kinds of opportunities to sell. Yeah, she's good. Yes. Now, so I'm going to give you some gift cards to Vanderwins again. All right. But I want to give you two to the movies. Okay. You ever go to the movies? We do. We do. Okay. I'm going to give you four just in case you want to take somebody with you. Is that okay. all right? I, yes, it is. Okay. So four tickets to the Clayton Theater. I tell you. Two. I'm going to give you four to Vanderwins just in case you take those same people yeah, we'll to Vanderwins. We're on a date and ice cream. I'll right. tell you, I got a whole weekend planned. <laughs> oh, well, while we're at it, let me give you two. Um, Chick-fil-A gift cards. Oh, my gosh. Well, do do you eat chicken? Dinner? I do. I, yeah. Well, Chick-fil-A, yeah. That's a, <laughs> you, can't, you can't go wrong with Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, sure. I agree. That's so there's our parting gifts. I want to say thank you. It's been an honor. You told me when I met you, I'm go you were one of the smartest men I'll ever meet, and I would agree <laughs> with that. You've been a lot of fun and a good sport, you yeah, know, and um, enjoyed it. It's been I nice seeing it. you. It's been a good so. run. And I don't think it's a goodbye forever. No, so. I would say. But, yeah. you know, and it's really something I, I try to move around every six months so we could be back here in six months. But at the same time, Chef Fred's been a very accommodating. Yes. And um, you have. And Diane has been good. And it's been wonderful. So if you've uh, never seen you know the laurel junction you're missing something i agree you i can say that with a clear yep every saturday and sunday and then there's stores across the front through the week there are and if you want to start a business like if you need a place to start a business mike might have something for you absolutely mike absolutely. thank you very much thank you again okay. good luck take Talk care to you soon. i'll uh -huh. see you bye-bye there he goes mike mercer i don't know if he's as sad about it as i am but um i'm gonna miss this place i gotta be honest with you folks i've grown attached to it all right, so anyway, we're sitting here inside Laurel Junction, and if you want to join us, um, studio audience is allowed to be here. Let me ask this gentleman, how's his breakfast? How is it? Number one. Number one. <laughs> Donald's working on number one. So Donald is here today. If you want to meet Donald, uh, he is here, <laughs> and um, you hear me talk about him all the time, a good friend of mine, Donald McElvain. What was that? 
they won't forget it. That's for sure. All right. It will be a memorable crossing of paths. But anyway, I've known him a long time. So he's enjoying breakfast. We've got a lot of guests today. Uh, Trent Collins is going to be here. Trent has had a liver transplant. Okay. He said, don't call it a kidney transplant. So it's a liver transplant. And he's going to tell the story. Kay Bennett's going to be with him. What's that? They're two different things. Here, I thought it was all the same organ. But um, when, you, when you wonder about miracles and, 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 you know, what can God do in somebody's life as somebody else is losing their life, you know? So for him to receive a liver, somebody had to give up a liver. Well, I guess they, anyway, I'm going to let him tell the story. I'm going to butcher it up. So anyway, with that said, that's later on in the show. Who else is going to be on here? Chuck Creighton. Chuck Creighton. He's another one of the guys. I, when I met him, he said, Jim, I'm going to be one of the smartest men you know. Okay? In other words, he said, now that you've met me, uh, your world's going to change. And i got to say that as an absolute fact. Chuck and I have teamed up. Chuck used to own his own trailer business. Talked him into coming and getting involved with me. It has been a wonderful, wonderful relationship. So um, I hope that someday Chuck can say that about me. But as far as me saying it about him, I have been very blessed by getting and to know and working with Chuck Creighton. So he's going to join me at 730. Who else is going to be on? Ruth Ann Spicer. Oh, my goodness. I've known Ruth Ann for years. What a sweet lady. She's got something big she wants to share with you. She wants to be Georgetown's next mayor. And I'm excited to have her on and see what she has to say. And who else have I got? Anybody else? Nicole Shin from Wheeler's Park, which is not open any longer, so don't go there today, okay? And then call me up and say, where's the rides? Wheeler's Park. A lot of people remember it. They got a big event coming up where people can gather and share memories, and she's going to talk about that. So I think that's it, unless I missed somebody. And if I did, please forgive me. Today, 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 I can smell it from here. I seen it cooking when I went by. Yes. The Greenwood barbecue chicken is on today. They're cooking it right now, and I would like to throw this invitation out there. If anybody wants to bring me some chicken from the Greenwood barbecue chicken, I would not mind that. I'll be here till 9, okay? But anyway, it is today. I think they're going to have chicken done as early as 8 or 8.30. So if you've been craving it, waiting for it, today is your chance. It'll be there today and tomorrow, and it's opening day. So every Saturday and every Sunday, from this point on, uh, they are not open on Fridays this year, okay? So it's Saturday and Sunday. Yes, I got the message, okay? What is next? J&J &J Power Washing. How did they pop up on the screen? Anyway, I just want to say to you, this is another sponsor segment. Zach owns J&J &J Power Washing. I've got to know Zach, known him for a while, and I've done some business with him here. And I realized that he, uh, he's got a way of doing things that's very professional, very businesslike. So this is a sponsor of the show. And so if you need some power washing done, whether it's your house or some equipment or your deck or your sidewalk or your whole driveway or, you know, a big building or um, whatever you need done, um, he has a crew. They're licensed. They're insured. Their vehicles are lettered. They have business licenses, so if they go into a town, they're properly licensed. They don't have to use a vehicle that's not lettered to fly under the radar. They are on the radar. They are good at what they do. Um, when you have a, a job you want done, Zach will actually come and look at it with his eyes, not do a Google Earth and say, yeah, I think it will be this much. He actually looks at it, eyes on, okay? Gives you an estimate, sends you an estimate in writing, tells you exactly what they're going to do. Doesn't use um, bleach. In other words, I never realized it. But when you use bleach, you know, um, all of a sudden you're going to have a lot of little dead, you know, bugs and critters there on the ground. Uh, bleach also will cause the seals in your windows to dry out. I never knew that. So he uses the proper chemicals to clean your house. He doesn't just stand on the ground and wave a wand. In other words, he gets up on ladders and does it right. So if you need something power washed, okay, if you need something power washed, if your shingles need, you know, like a, a cleansing, he has a way to clean your shingles without washing all the grain granulars off and stuff like that. So anyway, licensed and insured, estimates are free. He'll come to you. So if you have any questions, you give Zach a call. I've dealt with him. I'm happy with him. You will be too. I found his prices to be spot on, but I found his service to be priceless. And this is so rare nowadays. You call somebody, somebody answers the phone. They call you back. They show up when they're going to show up. They tell you they're going to show up. You know, this is all rare. So I'm personally trying to find businesses 
to connect my audience with that know what they're doing and do a good job. And J and J Power Washing is one of them. What's the number, Jim? That's all you want to know is the number. 302 934 5555. That's a pretty cool number. 934 55 Five, five. Give Zach a call right this minute. Call him right now. I don't know if he'll answer the phone or not, but leave a message. Say, I heard about you from Jim Weller, and I'd like to get an estimate, and I'd like to get on the schedule. That's the other thing. But I watched through his Facebook page. So look up his Facebook page and uh, like that page. All week long, he's posting this and that. One day, I posted a picture of a bunch of school buses. I never even thought about you know, having school buses all washed. But if you owned a bunch of them, and I know the gentleman that owns them, and he was very pleased and very happy. So big houses, little houses, chicken houses, chicken coops, you know, uh, farm equipment, tractor trailers, whatever you may need done, pavers, sidewalks, driveways, your house, your garage, you give him a call, decks, and so on. That's enough. That's enough, Jim. Cut it off. 934-5555, J&J, power washing. What in the world is next? Uh, Chuck is going to be here in a little while. You've heard me talk about Blue Hen Fuel. And um, I've been telling people about this gas, fill your gas tank for your gas grill special. So this is a sponsor segment for Blue Hen Fuel. And I've had a lot of people say, Jim, that is one heck of a bargain. Well, it's not a bargain until you take advantage of it, all right? But uh, this is your last few days of taking advantage of this offer. So if you have a gas grill, you got the 20-pound tank. You take it to Blue Hen Fuel in Lincoln, they're going to fill it for you for 12 bucks. Not 10, not 10, but $12. Okay? I had somebody thought I said $10. So it's $12 to fill that tank. But it's not 25, it's not 30. 10, no, $12 to fill your 20 pound propane tank at Blue Hen Fuel. Now, what else do they do? They do more than just fill propane tanks for your gas grill, okay? They sell heating oil, they sell propane, they sell diesel fuel, they sell gasoline. And uh, they sell kerosene. So if you need any of this, um, I know that a lot of people are, you know, hate these high gas prices. And it might be time if you own a business for you to think about getting yourself your own gas tank. Uh, I have a gas tank and I have a diesel fuel tank. And I buy my stuff from them because it's cheaper than buying it at the pump. So anyway, I had to buy my own tank and my own pump. But I'm fine with that because I've saved enough money uh, to make it worth it. So if you have any questions about heating oil or propane, or, you know, gasoline or kerosene or diesel fuel, whether you need it in a small quantity or a big quantity, or you want to just shop and see what kind of price they got on propane, you give them a call. Their number is 302-424-4328. That's 302-424-4328. CP King is the owner. Blue Hen Fuel, big enough to serve you, small enough to know you. Okay, you're not just a number to them. You are a customer and they care about you. All right, so that's that. And they got a Facebook page, so like Blue Hen Fuel on the Facebook. Now, it's 7.30. I need everybody to switch over to TV Delmarva, my radio audience. So I take a break from the radio, but the show does not stop. So I want you to not miss anything. So at 7.30, 8 o'clock, and 8.30, when we take a break with the radio, I need my radio audience to switch over to TV Delmarva or Weller Does Delmarva on the Facebook. If you ever want to be on this show, whether you're a politician running for office, whether you got a business or an organization, let me know soon. We are scheduling into August right this minute, okay? So we are very booked up, very behind. The show is moving. You've heard correctly. This is our last week here at Laurel Junction. Thank you to Mike Mercer and everybody at the Laurel Junction for hosting the show for almost a year and a half. We are going to Milton, Milton, Delaware, to Beaches Restaurant. We're going to be there May 7th, and we want you to come join us for our opening show, May 7th. We're starting there. I hear the music. I'm taking a break from the radio. I'm going to talk to Colin Wall. Switch over to TV Delmarva right now. <clears throat> <clears throat> that was me, everybody. It wasn't thunder. Get it all out before I get up here. Right. Get so anyway, all yeah, get it all out before he gets here. Yeah. All right, Colin, how you doing? I'm good. Good morning. How is everything over there on that side of the room? Everything is great over there. Everything's working just like it should, and good. Uh, it's a good morning. So. You got a good team of people around you. We do. We got a What's real good team. What's the story on yep. this fire yesterday? So, uh, yeah. Oh, actually, we were there covering it live. So, over in Greenwood, there was about forty or fifty acres. It was the call uh, that oh, we got. You know, okay. That there was about forty or fifty acres burning over in the Greenwood area. It looks so, sizable. Uh, 
our reporter, Jonathan Mastrade, he was actually out on another assignment, so he ran over there okay. and uh, got some uh, video of that, some live footage of it. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it was uh, it was pretty good, you know. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think any property other than the field got right. damaged, so right. thankfully. Right. So a lot uh, of companies were on it too. There was a mess of them over there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Jonathan's but, out and about, isn't he? Oh, he is. Yeah. You yep. know, he's just yep. getting her done. Yep, so uh, TV Delmarva, you know, we've got our newscast 4 p.m. every day on TV Delmarva. Then it runs again at 4.30 on Delmarva Newsnet. Oh, okay. Then we have uh, 10.30 and 11. So 10.30 is on Newsnet, and 11 p.m. is on uh, TV Delmarva. Yeah, so it runs. So all you need to know, you got Four times a day. Right, four times a day. Yeah. All right, so what about this retro TV? I saw a billboard somewhere the other day. Did you see a billboard retro TV? Yeah, with retro TV. What's that mean? Well, Retro TV is a network. That's we're a new okay. affiliate of Retro TV Network. They've got uh, great programming on there. Check it out, channel fourteen point three. Okay. Over the air, uh, we do not have the rights to stream that channel. Okay. So there will be no stream on it, unfortunately. Okay. Um, I'm Just working lie. on some details with them. Hopefully, you know, if we can block out other areas. Okay. okay. Um, so only this area can watch it. We might be able to might do it, but to. you know, we're still kind of in talks with them about that. So. All right, but it's there twenty four seven. There's plenty to see. Twenty four seven on T V Delmarva, yeah. yeah. So T V Delmarva Roku channel device, fourteen point three. No, we can't stream it, Jim. Oh, <laughs> my mind went to Facebook. No. Okay, now I get it. Yeah. Because Roku is streaming. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so see, I learned something today. We, we only have the affiliation for the Salisbury, Maryland okay. market area, okay. which covers Sussex County. Right. Well, I Delaware would say that was an honor then, to get that. It is, yeah. Oh, yeah. In other words, yep. you know, this is a nationwide, you know, network that it said, is. hey, yep. I want to be part of that area. Yep. Yep. Okay. And so they do. Yeah, and, uh, you know, they were here. Uh, before Bob Backman, that's where he originally started. When that's he started right. WRDE, that's right. He had uh, he was a Retro TV uh, network affiliate. So, yep. yeah. So anyway, you know we, they've got great programming on there. So I would say point your antenna towards Seaford, rescan, right. Look for channel fourteen, and uh, fourteen three will be retro. Retro. So all the other channels you can get uh, streaming uh, okay. uh, on you know on your Roku or on TVDelmarva.com. I, I keep forgetting the Roku is streaming. It is streaming. Like, I know. My it's, mind always it's goes so to Facebook. It's so mainstream think, now. It's, yeah, it seems like normal. You it know? is, like, yeah. You know, it's become the new norm. Yeah, yep. You know. But uh, I, I tell you, I, I just got some uh, research that was released. Antenna television, over-the-air television, is making a huge comeback. And, wow. and we're talking to the tune of over 50 million people in the United States really are now watching over the air television yes wow yeah so these are tired of these 100 150 dollar a month bills well yeah i mean it, it's it's real right it's I real mean, all that is real when you can spend that or just a little more and get an antenna put up right. and, and you're done that's right it. yeah you own something too right exactly yeah all yeah, right. you don't even have to rent the antenna monthly right don't actually even have start to. a service where you can rent the antenna there you go yeah it's like your cable box right it's a good idea. It's a good idea. <laughs> you go first. Okay. All right. Well, um, I'm going to take a real quick phone call. How's okay, that? Okay. That'd be good. Take a real wanna quick. I want to know if there's anybody watching on TV that would be willing to call in. Um, 302 If you give something away, probably. Oh, probably. What in the world would I give them? <laughs> I got these mints. I've only got four of them, though. So <laughs> you call in, and I'll decide what I'm going to give you. Oh, boy. You've four got two rubber two. bands over there, too. Right. In case. <laughs> yeah. To motivate you a little bit. Yeah, the Use rubber ones. bands. 422-7336. I want to hear from somebody watching on TV. 302-422-7336. Operators are standing by. Are, are they standing by? They're over They're there. Sitting. They're sitting. They're yeah. sitting. Sitting okay. by. Call me now. 422. The thing's not hooked up. That's what's wrong. 422. Is it hooked up? I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, what else is going on? I don't know what else is going on. But anyway, I want to make sure the phone's working. Is that all right? I okay. get a complex when people don't call. I'm like, why won't anybody call me? You should um, you should check to see if they're working before the show, Jim. Oh, I like to do it in the middle of the show. Oh, okay. See, it looks like it does work. It, it yes. works. Okay. Yeah. So I'm now telling I you, know, you now have I not, know they're really not calling me. You have not specified what you're giving oh, away. Oh, they want to know what the deal is. Yes, here we go. That's not a call. That's me. That's not you. Is it me or not? I'm telling you, yeah, that's it's me. Somebody else. There's nobody on that phone. Or is somebody there? Is anybody there? Yeah, somebody here. It's What's Terry. your name? Is this um Tom? It's Terry. Carrie? Terry. Terry. I know. Terry I'm messing with Barry. 
Terry, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Seabrook, Delaware. Are you inside or outside? I'm inside. Are you really? Well, go no, outside. It's, I'm it's, inside from here watching you on TV. What do I look like today? How am I looking? <laughs> are you going to move can you see the big Band-Aid on my head? It's a small one, very small <laughs> Band-Aid. <laughs> hey, would you want a couple gift cards to Vanderwins? Sure. Do you use these things? I, yeah, I like you to do the fanning. Really? Do you like yeah. ice cream? Hey, there, Colin. He's hey, there, saying Colin. hi, Colin. Hey there, Terry. Good morning. Good morning. I'll see you. I'll sit there watching you, too. I call you the number one TV Delmarva fan. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> right. Thank you. Well, Terry, I'm going to set two gift cards aside for you, okay? All right. You have a, you have a good week. Thank you for watching us, okay, and calling us. Uh, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. All right. That was a call. We All back right. on the radio? On the Ray All Didio. Right. We're there. Thank you, Colin. Thank you. TV Del Marvis, where it's at, everybody. Retro TV. Hey, guess what's going on today? This is a sponsor segment real quick. Um, today and today only is a sale at Wilson's Auction on Route 113 in Lincoln, okay? I call it Lincoln City. So does Dave Wilson. Uh, but anyway, they changed the name at some point in our life to Lincoln. But anyway, lots is going on today. Wilson's Auction. Man, if you go to wilsonsauction.com, click on Upcoming Auctions, and look at the pictures of all the stuff they're selling today, you're like, how do they sell thousands of things in one day? They do it, they do it fast, and they do it to the highest bidder, okay? So you can go right now. It starts at 10 o'clock, but you can start looking around and get ready. Um, they go all day, all afternoon, and into the evening, okay? There's glassware, there's furniture, there's appliances. I mean, we bought a lot of furniture there. Denise likes this old hardwood-type furniture. Sometimes she'll buy a piece of furniture and use the boards out of it. She's out there planing them down and turning them into wood. Anyway, let's get off of that subject and just focus on the bargains you can find at Wilson's Auction, okay? Uh, we've bought a bird there, and we've bought a little bit of – I've bought properties there, um, bought automobiles, bought a lot of stuff at Wilson. So it's a lot of fun. If you want something to do today, after you get done shopping at Laurel Junction, go on down to Wilson's Auction in Lincoln or up to Wilson's Auction. Lots of bargains starting at 10 o'clock this morning. Again, going all day. Now, if you got something you want to sell, like a garage full of junk, I meant gems, a garage full of stuff, or whatever. Maybe you got a business and you just got a lot of inventory and you want to turn it into cash. I've been there. There's been brand new building supplies and stuff like that where somebody just wants to turn it into money. Wilson's Auction can sell your stuff and pay you cash on Monday. It's that simple, all right? So you could take stuff uh, Wednesday through Friday afternoon and drop it off. Tuesday night, 6 o'clock, they have an auto auction. You can buy or sell like the dealers do, so you can do that too. Memorial Day, huge sale coming up. Tags, I love the low-digit tags, but all kinds of antiques and everything. It is on Memorial Day. And then on Friday, May 20th, which is a little ways off, there is some real estate in Harrington going to be sold. Two parcels of land. So if you're looking for some real estate, one of them is only four acres. And one of them, I think, is 167 acres. Okay? I might buy them both. Start a trailer store in Harrington. You never know. Harrington Trailer Sales. So anyway, check out wilsonsauction.com. Call them on the phone. 404040. No, none of them numbers. 302. Don't even pay attention to me, folks. 302 422 3454. Dial it in that order. 422 3454. Dave Wilson, Wilson's Auction, Wilson'sAuction.com. Oh, oh, and they're on Facebook. They're on Facebook. Dave Wilson is so active on Facebook. It's unbelievable. He really is. So, anyway, Chuck has arrived. Uh, so, we're going to do a picture first. This is our last picture together at Laurel Junction. For now. All right. Chuck, how are you? Doing good. How you doing, Chuck? I'm supposed to say, what's up, Chuck? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All yeah. Right. yeah, he's up, Chuck. Yeah. All right. What's going on with Chuck? Um, Do you like to be called Chuck or Chucky? Chuck. Chuck. I have a son, right. Chuck Jr., and I call him Chucky. Chucky. Is he like that? No, he likes to be called Chuck, too. <laughs> <laughs> but you can get away with it. Yeah, my dad calls me Chucky. So. Oh, does yeah. he? All right, and you don't like it, so you're just trying to yeah, I just ignore him. do the same thing to your son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like father, like son. That's right. All right. What is going on with you today? Oh. Are you doing anything personally? Are you going to any ball Person games? or? 
Nope, it's a slow weekend. Is it really? Yeah, I'm going to be able to relax a little bit. Let your hair down. Yep. I got a wow. little bit of it let down. I've got to get it cut. I'm getting it cut. I Monday. would. Yep, yeah, I can see it. It's getting it's shaggy. unbelievable. <laughs> I know the feeling. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, so yeah. Wellers, is it gonna, are you opening today? Opening you decided today. to close. What's going on no, up there? Last day of the month, last day of oh, our big sales and stuff. I forgot it's the last day yeah, of the month. Today's April 30th. So that free spare tire and wheel thing ends today. Yeah, we've given away a lot of spares, a lot of ratchet straps. Wow. But, uh, yes, it's working well. It's bringing the so, customers on in. So that offer ends today. Mm-hmm. Let me date today. April 30th, 2022. Right. Okay. And it's a free spare tire and wheel. Right. And four ratchet straps. Right. And it's a matching spare. So it's the same. Oh, really? As close as we can get to it. Some of the, right. Some the, of the wheel wheels, may be a little different or whatever. Yeah, but, but it's going to be the same size, the same Right. Capacity. And it's going to be new. A new Brand tire and wheel. New Brand wheel new. Stuff. Everybody thought I was giving away used tires. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. No. But what a great idea. But yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so you get a free spare tire and wheel. I think they're like two hundred and seven dollars or yeah, something like that. Two seven ninety seven. You get that for free. You get four ratchet straps. Yep, that's twenty five dollar value. So you got to do something to get this. You got to buy a new a new landscape trailer from us. From us, absolutely. right? You can't buy yeah. it somewhere else. Nope. Okay, I already had that question. <laughs> and somebody say, Jim, if I buy a trailer somewhere else, will you please UPS me the free spare? So we got to get it all straight yeah, for people. Make that you know clear. I mean? You got to buy it from us. Woo! Come in today. It's a ploy. We're trying to get trying you. To get you in the store. All right. So what did we do? Uh, we've had a busy week. Crazy week. Yesterday was busy. Really busy. What did you sell? Four or five trailers. We sold ten yesterday. You put that down. I thought it was a joke. I thought you were messing nope. with me. No, nope, I told you the yeah. truth. I don't. I don't tell you. I don't mess with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> not when you're awake. Anyway. Yeah, not when I'm awake. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So ten trailers yesterday. So ten what trailers. in the world are you going to do today? Oh. Probably 15 to 20. I would wow. say 20 is not out of the question. I've got a few coming in. I think everybody, Saturday's always our busy day. Yeah, it is. So, and then being the end of the month, so last day patient. of the sale. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. It's ever, it's the trifecta. Right. It's going to be chaotic. We had, had customers yesterday. They were taking advantage of the sale. And I had one guy walking out. I heard him talking on his phone. Hey, they're having this sale. It's going to end tomorrow. Really? So, uh, he was telling somebody. The urgency's out there to, wow. to come in today and get that, that free spare and free Not a big track. deal, but, I mean, we're talking on a 5x8 on a that's $1,097. You get a free spare tire and wheel. Yeah. You know, and the four ratchet straps. And the ratchet straps, brand new in a pack. Yeah. I put more value on that spare tire and wheel, but they're both a, a good value when you add them together. Absolutely. All right. So somebody said to me the other day, can you explain to me why I should deal with you when there's plenty of places with plenty of trailers to deal at? So how would you answer that question? Why in the world deal with Wellers when there's plenty of other places? Well, there's several, several, several reasons. Number one, the experience level you're going to get at Wellers. That's right. You got I myself. Keep forgetting that. You got Jimmy. We've got George. You know, we're, we're hands-on with trailers. And right. I've got Rosa and Mike up front selling. They're the one, some of the best salespeople you'll ever meet, friendliest. Right. Right. Uh, and we don't mean best by pushy. No. We mean best by accommodating, accommodating, friendly. Find out what you need right. and get you the right trailer for your exact needs. Right. So then after you purchase the trailer, we're going to bring the trailer up. We're going to do a little prep on it before you take it home. Even we're though it's brand new. Brand new. We're going to torque the lug nuts down, check the air pressure, make sure all the lights work. And then we hook it to your vehicle. We're going to make sure lights work again, make sure they work right. with your vehicle. Sometimes you'll have a blown fuse or something, so we we'll have right. to figure that out before you go down the road so you're safe. So uh, that's stuff you can't get anywhere else. You right. Know? I mean, no. And and we, we want to say this sincerely. This is an arrogance. If you bought a trailer somewhere else in the past week or two, and when you bought it, you didn't see them, torque the lug nuts, check the air in the tires, and make sure all your lights are working, We'll do that for you, even Absolutely. though you didn't buy the trailer from us. Yeah, I mean, we'll give we, you a little taste of that Weller's experience. Right. Even though, you know, because, you know, if you need a trailer on Sunday, you're not going to get it at Weller's. If you need it on Monday, you know, so there's reasons people buy trailers elsewhere. But we want you to buy them from us. Uh, I, I don't want to brag or anything, but there's no doubt nobody has the inventory no. we have. And, and, the, and the team, you know, you've got, what, almost 40 years of experience. Yeah. I, I started with my dad in business in 1983. So, yeah, we're pushing. Really? 30, I've been 39 years. Wow. Doing something in this this industry. So and Jimmy's been doing it all his life. I've been doing it for many years. And when you add all that up, you're not going to find anybody with more knowledge. Now, you know, in some cases it doesn't even matter, but it does matter because you want to get the right trailer. You want it at the right price. How could we have the right price? I don't think there's anybody buying any better than we do. Right. We buy in, buy in volume. We buy them right. We sell them right. Yeah. You know, we are a volume dealer. Yeah. So you know, if you need a trailer. Um, how do people reach us? What numbers are you giving out there? Um, 302-337-8228. That's the okay. best way to get you to call the store. 337-8228. Even if you leave a message, they get right on it. Right. We have um, 
If you have to leave a message, it goes to all of our voicemails. Right. So, so. We're, even after hours, call, leave a message. Somebody will get back to you. Yep. You might get a call after hours. You just never know. I've done it before. I've, on Saturday. Other... I've sold trailers on Saturday evening to people. Say, have you yeah. really? Call them back. Just then. I got what, just what you're looking for. Right. See me on Tuesday morning. Chuck likes to water ski a lot, and if he's not water skiing, <laughs> he'll be he'll be returning phone calls. Yes, that's where I'm going to be tomorrow. Right. So yeah, anyway. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Well, Chuck, anything else? Um, no. Just come on down here, see us at Weller's today. We must make this a uh, end of the month big. Big. It's already big. April's always a big month. I'd so. like to hit a twenty trailer day. Okay. I would do something special for you all. I'd give everybody an extra day's pay. You're going to come by and help us later, right? Oh, yeah, no yeah. doubt. I'll be there about 2, 2.15, 2 2.30. Well, we'll still be selling trailers probably at 2.15. You probably will. Yeah. Uh, we're open today till 2. Till 2. We close at 2. But we close at 2. But not we'll till probably the last be customer's there. satisfied. Right, but just come early. It takes about an hour just to pick out a trailer. People get there, and they're like, oh, I know exactly what I want. Right. Until you get to Weller's. Until you, until you see it, yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. we're going to show you around. Oh, I didn't you know, know you had that option or that option. Yeah. Yeah. So... All right, anything else? Nope, that's all I got for you today. I'm going to say goodbye. Yes, sir. It was an honor being in your presence today. Uh, you, you're welcome. It's unbelievable. You're welcome. <laughs> Chuck's a humble guy. Yeah, that's right. All right, Sorry. that's all right. Knock the table over. <laughs> We're good. All right, there he goes, everybody. Chuck Creighton, a good man, good family man, good friend, good, uh, great teammate. I don't even like to call him an employee. He's a teammate. Hey, Josh McNeil is another good friend of mine, and um, before I do his segment, I want to say, Snooky Vent, if you are listening, Snooky Vent, wiggle your ears, Snooky. Let me know you're listening, because I want to say a belated happy birthday to Pat Vent. This is Snooky Vent's better half. What a wonderful lady. She has tolerated and put up with Snooky. I meant she has been so blessed by being with him. So, Pat, if you're listening, happy birthday to you. And we hope to see Snooky Vent and Pat Vent next Saturday at Beach's Restaurant. That's where we're going to be. And um, I'll buy your breakfast next week, okay? We'll make that your birthday gift from Weller Does Del Marva. Hey, Josh McNeil, you hear me talk about him each and every week. Josh McNeil, this is a sponsor segment, but he's my friend. And what does he do? He does blacktop work. What does he do? He does commercial. He does residential. So if you're out there and you've been thinking, you know what? I'm just wanting a nice driveway. We've been putting dirt down or putting stones, and then they go away, or they're in the yard. I'm now cutting grass, and I'm picking up stones, and I don't want that. I want a blacktop driveway. Or you got a, a parking lot that needs resurfacing, or you got something that needs fixing up. I'm just letting you know Josh McNeil is a good person he does good work he's honest he's fair he's a family man his sons are involved he took over his father's business and you're just not going to get any better so i'm just letting you know it's mcneil's paving whether you just need your driveway you know resurfaced or you want a brand new one or you got some roots that are growing up through the blacktop my hands are moving because i've had all these experiences so i'm just letting you know that um it's mcneil's paving i'm going to give you his phone number i'm going to actually give you his cell phone number, because I need you to do me a favor. Even if you don't need anything, Josh is wondering, do I have any audience whatsoever? He thinks I just don't have anybody listening. I'm just messing with you. I just want somebody to call him and wake him up, all right? So, Josh, you're getting ready to get a wake-up call. 302-745-0021. 745-0021. If you don't want to call him, just text him and say, thanks a lot. For supporting Weller Does Del Marva. Okay? Josh McNeil, McNeil's Paving. Uh, he'll give you a free estimate. He's licensed, he's insured, and uh, he has Delaware tags on his vehicles. He was explaining to me, you know, there's so many people just blow in a neighborhood, do some blacktop work, and then get out of there. Um, you know, he gets the proper licensing for whatever town he's in. He does it right. All right? Do I have a phone call? For real? Is it Josh McNeil? Josh, are you there? No, this is Pat Vent. Um, Jim, are you Snooky's? Is this Snooky's better Snooky. half? I am Snooky's better half, <laughs> and I'm the one that keeps him moving. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, and we will definitely um, see you next Saturday. We can't wait. Are you going to really be there? Oh, absolutely. All right. You can count on it. Get Snooky to get a haircut before he comes. Okay. <laughs> I'll have him looking presentable, yes. All right. And, hey, how was your birthday? Did you do anything special? Yes, we did. Um, my grandson plays uh, Little League, so my daughter had a tailgate party, and everybody was there, and it was in Georgetown. We had a, we had a blast, yeah. Wow. 
Well, yeah, good. It was, you know, normally it's at someone's house, which is always good. But this was because he had a baseball game. So uh, my daughter, Stacy said, let's do a tailgate party at the ballpark. And that's yeah. what we did. Yep. Well, I missed the I invitation, was... but I'm glad you had a good time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Jim. All I right. appreciate all yeah. you do. Well, happy all birthday, right. and I'll see you next Saturday. You got it. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Um, bye-bye. Bye. All right, next I'm going to talk to Ruth Ann Spicer, but first we have to get our picture taken. This way. Here we go. You ready, Ruth Ann? Ready. All right, now it's my honor to have Ruth Ann Spicer on the show. How are you, young lady? I'm good, Jim. How are you? Real good, real good. Thank and you so much for having me today. Well, it's an honor, and I hear you're you're going to get into the political arena. I'm going to try my best. Yes, wow. I am. Yes, right. I am. I'm excited. Now, are you a lifetime uh, Georgetown resident? Partially. Partially, um, okay. When I lived in Millsboro, okay. and when my husband and I got married in 76, right. then we moved. Uh, Norman already had a house in Georgetown, and we moved into his house in Georgetown. Wow. Yes. Well, very good. Yes. My mother always had a beauty shop in Georgetown. Really? Her family was from Georgetown, the King family. Oh, and, okay. Um, as a matter of fact, the King Street is the street that... Chad's accident happened on where no his fatality kidding. was. Yes, believe it or not. Yes. Wow, how yes. ironic is that? I know, I know. I just, wow. it's just something that you would not, never think would ever happen, that's for yep. sure. Now, I want to just say, I know your son, you know, he got killed in the yes, line of did. duty, and that was yes. very sad, but yes. I just want to say on my part, how remarkable of a son you had. Yes, thank you. I knew thank him you. when he was a Bridgeville police officer. I know you did. I and, know. Um, I and still, he liked talking to you. Right. I and, and I got to know him. What I didn't know, I, I believe in his service, they said he sang in church. Yes, he did. Now that I never got to witness. I know. And he loved to sing. Did he really? That boy would sit in his bedroom and he would just sing country music like you wouldn't believe. He really? loved to sing. And he was in a contest down in uh, Pittsville. Really? Not too long before his death. Yes, wow. he was. Yes, he was. Wow. So, but he did love to sing, and he did sing in church with two other girls. It was a small country church out to the Marble Museum. Really? Where we went. Yes, Johnny Marble was the preacher. Yeah. No kidding. Yes. Wow. Yes. But yeah. I had no idea. But boy. He was a wonderful human being, a good public servant. Yes, he was. He, for some strange reason, could sniff out them drug dealers. Yes, he could. My goodness. Yes. I mean, you know, I would be doing a ride-along with the state police. Yes. And he would ask for, you know, anybody in the area, because he was getting ready to search a car out there in the middle of the night. And I lo know. and behold, there it was. that thing was full of drugs. Yes, I mean, it was. He, was, he, was, he was something, you know. So. One night we were going to dinner, and I saw that uh, this was in Georgetown, after he came to Georgetown, and I saw the car was pulled over. And I said, Norman, do you think that's Chad? And he said, I don't know. He said, but I think so, because I see somebody's backside turned up in the trunk. He said, and I think it's our son. I said, oh, wow. great. He is really sniffing that car out. Right. Man, he could <laughs> smell him riding by. I don't know how he did it, you know. <laughs> yes, he could. But, um, yes, he was could. Something, but he was really something. He so was. You did a good job. You raised a good, a good man there. Thank no you. question. We tried. So. We tried. He, right. he always told everybody, he said, yes, I'm mama's boy and I'm proud of it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, good. Well, yeah. anyway, I miss him. I really do. Thank and um, you. he was Thank something. Thank you. I appreciate so. that. Thank you. So you're running for mayor, mayor yes, of Georgetown. I yes, I am. And I okay. know everybody is shocked, you know, raising Aubrey. They're probably saying, what else do you want to do? You know, right. but, you know, every you have to keep active in your life and yeah. you have to keep on going. And, you know, Aubrey, she's 16. Is, that, that This is Chad's daughter for yes. people that don't yes. know who we're and, speaking uh, of. She, uh, you know, she'll have a job this summer, and okay. she'll be... Okay. she driving yet? She no. She will be driving on her own June 23rd. Really? Have you yes. been riding with her? Oh, yes, I have. What's that like, riding with well, a teenager? <laughs> I had my foot on the brake on my oh, side right. just a few well, it times. wasn't there. But, yeah, that wasn't there. But, <laughs> right. you know, other than that, she is a very good driver. Good. I've got to give her a lot good. of credit. She is a very good driver, so good. I'm not going to complain about it. But, you know, it'll be different when she goes out on her own, right. and I'm not in the car with her right. so so you, you've got the time and the energy and the will and the drive and yes. you're ready to do something i am i am because i'm dedicated to georgetown they took such good care of us when they Chad did. was killed yep. and i want to give back to the town and do whatever i can for mm -hmm. the town 
I'm very dedicated to the police officers, and right. I would love to see them have a new agency building to work oh, out of. Okay. And I would love to make sure that the agency staff is completely staffed and, you know, that they have all the equipment that they need to work with. To be As safe. you know, this day and time, it's, it's crazy. It is. It's just crazy out there. Mm -hmm. You never know who you're going to come upon. They never know what they're going to deal with. And I would love for them just to be safe in every aspect that they can. Wow. You know, it's just it's just a terrible situation right what now. Are, what other things would you like to see that if you could be part of in Georgetown happen? What what I would like to see downtown to be more with shops and okay. uh, restaurants. Uh, so it would not be like it was when I was a little girl. You know, my mom's beauty shop was uptown. And my father and I, we would go down to Henry's newsstand, or we would go to the Chevrolet place that was right there. You know, we would just walk up and down the street. There was business Bronstein. after business. Yeah, there was a men's clothing store. There was a ladies' clothing store. There was a drug store downtown. You know, I'd like to see the revitalization of downtown, downtown area. Okay. You know, and because we have a lot of things coming to Georgetown, and as you know, it's the county seat. Yeah. So, you and know, it's 16 miles from everywhere. Yes, it is. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. So it needs to have things for people not to go out of town. I mean, right. there's a lot of secretaries that work there. And if they're on their lunch hour, they could slip out and, you know, do Walk some somewhere. shopping. Or, right. 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 Yeah. Wow. That would so. be nice. So I'd like, you know, the economic development to be a okay. lot brighter than what it is right now. So I'm... I'm going to work on that if I do become mayor, and I'd like to see, and then I would like to see code enforcement to be up to speed more than okay. it is right Properties now. And things. Right, okay. because we have a lot of people that ride through from D.C., whatever, going to the beach, and I'd like for them to just to see a beautiful town all the way out of okay. town limits. You all know, right. so. so when is the primary? The election is May 14th. May 14th. Oh, just a couple weeks yes, away. Yes, it's two weeks from oh, today. Oh, okay, yes, okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so, and it starts at 8 o'clock in the morning. That's when people can vote. That's right, and the polls close at 6. Okay. If they night. wanted to talk to you or get to know you or learn about you, is there... Is there a Facebook page or yes, where? Yes, there is. Okay, what's There's it called? There's a Facebook page, Elect Ruth Ann Spicer for Mayor. Okay. And, so they um, can go on there. There's information on what there. What if they wanted to meet you? If they wanted to meet me, they can. I can give you my phone number where they can talk to me if they want to. All right. But if they wanted to meet me, I live right in Georgetown, or they could call me, and I would be glad to discuss anything or okay. any concerns that anyone has. Well, let's give the phone number if okay. you don't mind. Okay, I know, 302. I don't mind. It's 302. 249-4383. 249-4383. Yes. Wow. Yes. And I would be glad to help anybody. I'm not sure what I can do yet because right. I'm not, you know, but I mean if they just official. wanted to get to know you. If they want to get to know me, just call me and I will, you know, tell them what my platform is and I'll be glad to express anything that I can to them and what I would like to do for the town. Do you have any events coming up where you know you're gonna be there? Is there anything um, out in not, the public? Okay. I'm going to do a debate. Oh, there's a debate? Yes, there is. Yes. When's that? That is Tuesday night. Oh, I want to go to that. <laughs> All right. Tuesday night, where at? That will be at the county council chambers. Really? Yeah, the county building right on the circle in Georgetown. And it starts at 6 o'clock. Six o'clock. Yes. I may be there. I hope you are. Is that AM or PM? That is PM, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. PM. Wow. So yes. well very good. This is exciting. Thank In other you, words, Jim. you know. I think so too. I think so too. I'm very excited about How it. How was this interview? What was it like for I you? I love it. I mean it's so calm, it's so relaxing. I love it. It's I very... haven't got on your nerves yet. No, you haven't. You I'll never keep did trying. before. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but I appreciate you having me today. Thank I'm going to give so you some much. gifts just for the fun of it. <gasps> oh, wow. Have you been to the Clayton Theater in a while? Oh, a long time ago. There's yes. two tickets to the oh, Clayton. Oh, wow. Thank you. Now, do you happen to like Vanderwind's ice cream? Oh, I love it. Going to give you <laughs> yes. a couple there, okay? Thank you. And then Thank I got you. two keychains for you, a Weller's one. Oh, wow. And a Weller Does Del Marvel one. Thank you so much. Well, How's many, that, young lady? As many keys as Aubrey and I have, we can make use of them, and we can certainly make use of these gifts. Thank well, you. Linda, Thank you. Linda, can you take one more picture? 
I'm going to pose for one more picture. All right, thank if you. If Linda's ready, hold on. Let me let her get ready first. Okay. She's got to get her thoughts together. I sprung it on her. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. Okay, right. thank you. Thank I'll you, see you. Bye-bye. All right, Bye. take care. All right, we're taking a break from the radio, everybody. We'll be right back. Switch over to TV Delmar because Colin Walls has something very pathetic or whatever the word is to say. So anyway, check it out. TV Delmarva. Here we go. Colin. Good morning. How are you, Colin Walls? Good, good, good. good. Oh, Donald, you okay? He's pending. You pending. pending? Yeah. <laughs> pending. All right. So what's going on with you? Well, TV Delmarva, Jim. You know TV Delmarva. Retro TV. That was exciting to retro hear about TV. that. Yeah, Retro you know. TV is our newest uh, network we're affiliated with, Channel 14.3. If you're looking for the All Sports Television Network, it is temporarily down. Oh, uh, it okay. will be reappearing. Look for it on 14.7. 14.7. 14.7. We do have a 14.5 coming soon. We're working okay. on getting uh, an affiliation there. So I've got a couple of them that I'm trying to uh, work out deals with. So we'll see what, what we make the best growing. deal with. I mean, we can are. you go past 14.10? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yep. I didn't know yeah. for like I didn't know if ten made it switch over to fifteen something. No. <laughs> okay. So it just keeps going. It just keeps going. Um, wow. And um, now the problem is you lose bandwidth on each channel, so each channel takes away a certain... from another channel. Right. So uh, you know, and right now don't, we've got plenty of bandwidth. That. We've got plenty of bandwidth right now. Okay. Um, right. But as you add channels, you know, they each require a certain amount. You know, whether they're in. High definition or standard definition. Oh, yeah, so yeah. High definition, of course, Am takes I more in bandwidth. high or standard? You're in high definition here, Jim. HD. Am I really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this show is broadcasting in 14. HD. 14.1 is in HD. 14.4 uh, really? is in HD. 14.2, uh, 3, and 6 are in standard definition. Okay. Um, so we'll probably add one or two more HD channels. We have enough bandwidth for that. Okay. Um, you know, or we might add several more standard definition channels. But it's all to yeah. be determined by Colin's master brain. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is. It's it's mathematic calculations that we have to do to figure oh, out how okay. to divide them up because okay. we get nineteen point three nine megabits per second in our band. So not nineteen point four. Nineteen point three nine, and it Gosh. goes out further from there. But yeah, really. Yeah. So uh, it, it, we are limited to how how many uh, channels now when. It switches over to next generation TV, right. ATSC 3.0. Right. That's a whole new world. Okay, Colin, this is too much information. It is too much information. TMI. I'm but already. It is, it is exciting to me that I could tell we're going to be switching I over to that one of these days. Thinking, isn't it interesting how your life is right now? You've got all these new things going on. Oh my on, gosh! Yes. All these new opportunities. Mm -hmm. You know, like no matter COVID or the uh, interest rates or the price of gas. You got a lot of exciting things going on. Yeah, I mean, know? we started the station on the month that the COVID stuff started here. Right. So March right. of 2020 was when we launched 14 Channel 14 over the air. So. And I remember talking about it for a year or two. Before that, I was like, "Holy mackerel, yeah. this is a lot of talk here." Yep. So. Yeah, there was a lot uh, to it, and you know, we got it done, and we're there now. And but now it's real. I mean, it's really there. And it is. I got people saying, "I see your TV commercials," mm -hmm. and. Uh, I would love to get some feedback. Uh, we did a lot of them, so if you're watching, uh, you'll see. Um, and uh, Jim's it was new fun. commercials, yeah, yeah, my new commercials. Yeah, <laughs> the so. one with the shed was the hardest. Trying that was to open about that four on, takes. Open that dag on garage door. Yeah, you know, and yeah. um, so. But I appreciate you working with me. So again, if there's a business out there and you want to, you know, do some advertising, mm -hmm. you know, something brand new that you've never done before. Um, that you know, you know, if you want something to happen that's never happened before, mm -hmm. you need to do something that you've never done before. How Very do you true. like that thinking? Yep. So. We've got a new sponsor coming on board. Uh, Monday, I believe, we'll have everything done. We'll have their commercial okay. finished. So they're called uh, Air Doctor. Air Doctor. Air Doctor I've with dealt an, with them. Air Doctor with an X at the end. Yep. So like RX, like prescription. Yep. Air Doctor with an X. Air Doctor with an X dot com. Yep. Um, and if you do deal with them, please let them know you found out about them because of TV Delmarva. Right. So let them know their advertising is working. Yep. Yep. So they're so good people. So that'll be. They are. Yeah, they are good people. Man, uh, uh, Ben that I dealt with, he's the owner's son. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and he's an older guy too. You know, he's probably thirty something. Okay. And uh, but he's a real good guy. He's their marketing guy. And, really. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So check them out online. Give them a. a I think they do plumbing. I, I, I think they do. They got this other thing. I know they do real good duck work. 
they, it's this ductwork thing they have. They've got this uh, stuff they inject in the ductwork that actually seals it. They'll really? tell you how many CFMs uh, a minute losing. of air. Yeah, you're losing uh, prior, and then they they in start injecting this stuff, and you can literally watch it go Seal down. Seal the cracks or whatever. Seals the cracks. Yeah, yeah. They wow. they've got a computer right there where they're measuring it, and you can just see it go right down to almost nothing, really? where you have no leakage. Yeah, yeah. And that's I just think, money. That's just lost money when oh, you it have is. that leakage. Yeah. yeah, and something I never even thought about on the supply side. So you're like your return, right? If you have a leak in that, what right. does that do? That sucks in dust, pollen, right. all kinds of different things, and distributes it distributes it through the house. So if your ductwork is running in your basement or your attic, you're pulling in that moist, damp, yeah, maybe moldy air from the basement. Right. Yeah. So this is it, it was very interesting. I got a little wow, bit of a that's uh, a little bit of. Interesting. I might check it, into it that. Very, yeah. It's very, very interesting. So I think we could do an infomercial on it. I'm going to pitch right. him with that here soon. Okay. So, We're going right, to let I'll you go, you. Colin. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. There he goes, Colin Walls. He said it all. He's done talking. Hey, Jim Weller here. You're watching and listening to a show called Weller Does Del Marva. Okay. We are live, and people say, Where in the world is Laurel Junction? It's in the middle of Laurel. Like Laurel's like the hub of Delaware. Everything in Delaware centers around Laurel. So anyway, that's where we're at. We're in Chef Fred's Cafe. Want to talk real quick about a sponsor of mine. His name is Jerry's Lawn Care, Jerry Santoro. So it's Jerry's Lawn Care, okay? He does lawn care. He does irrigation. He does pavers. He sells firewood. He does lot clearing. He um, can help you with many different things. In other words, um, he also has mulch, only $20 a yard. And when I say $20 a yard, it doesn't mean your whole yard is only $20. It means a yard of mulch is $20. I've had so many people get confused with that. So anyway, he's got the best bang around for mulch. He sells hardwood, seasoned firewood year-round. He does tree work, lot clearing. He can dig up stumps. He can grind up stumps. He does a lot of different things. He's licensed. He's insured. And all you got to do is get... Give him a call for a free estimate. If you need somebody to do some landscaping, give him a call. So what in the world is his phone number? It's 302-363-6025. That's 302-363-6025, JLC-LLC.com on the web. And like him on Facebook, too, if you would there. Um, oh, I forgot the name of the Facebook page. Hold on just one second. Jerry's Land Clearing. Jerry's Land Clearing, okay? Hey, I had a friend of mine. She got engaged the other day, and she said, Jim, would you mention it on the show? I'll gladly mention it. Jennifer Lynn Nobles got engaged to Jerome Sample. So, Jennifer and Jerome, congratulations. Congratulations. They're going to get married, all right? Now, we're going to take a picture with Trent Collins. Uh, this is one of the smartest people sitting here at the table right now. <laughs> He's passed his clinicals and everything else. <laughs> How you doing, young man? This Good. is for uh, the Lincoln Post Office. We get it? Thank you. All right. So Trent has got quite a story, and um, I don't even want to make light of it. I mean, in other words, I got to, I knew Trent way back when he drove a stock car. I've known you a long time. It's been a while words, ago. Now. It has. And, uh, so anyway, but Trent, a long time ago, how long ago was it that we did the liver for life? Oh, was that was it 10 years ago? Was, yeah, well, yeah, 2000, 2010 was the first transplant. So really? it was leading up to that, yeah. Okay, so uh, a friend of ours, Mike Costello, Mike Costello, gave part of his liver. Correct, yeah. And then his rejuvenated. Yeah. Wow. And then the piece he gave me grew to the size to for my body to function. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Isn't yeah. that all amazing? It is amazing, yeah. And then something comes along and you needed another liver. Yeah. And now we're going to let you tell the story yeah. as best we can in the amount of time yeah. of how God arranged things, you know, because so many people say, is God real? Is I mean, well, is air real? You ever touched air? I mean, you right. know, so in other words, God you is can't real. You see it, but you breathe it, right? Right. You know. <laughs> and, and you need it. Right. And you need it, you know, and yeah. God is real. And yeah. um, so you have a, a story of a miracle to tell. Um, I'm going to just try to be quiet and let you tell no, it. Is that okay? Good. Yeah, that's good. I but, might uh, meander a little bit. I'm, okay. I'm not comfortable in this setting, but yeah. Okay. What, um, do you want to switch chairs? No. No, no would that make we're you more good. comfortable? No. <laughs> <laughs> so no. you needed a liver. Yeah. And to go even back farther, like, I mean, it's a long story, 25 years worth of story, you know. Really? Um, 
25 years old, found out I had liver disease, I had an autoimmune uh, condition where my immune system was damaged in my liver. And um, at 25 years at old, at 25 years old, yeah. So it was managed. Dr. Harry Anagnostakis, he's the one that kind of figured me out, okay. got me treated, put me on a transplant list early in life, um, said, You'll probably never need this. Lo and behold, 2009, I get really sick. By 2010, I have a transplant, thanks to Mike Costello. and Because waiting on the list could have took longer. It could have. So when we were at University of Maryland, they recommended this living donor program, which we knew obviously nothing about at the time. Right. Um, and it was described. And at first, I was not even comfortable with like receiving like, a like liver. asking you, hey, will you give me a chunk right. of your liver? You right. Know? Um, it just wasn't something that I was, it wasn't in me to do that. And um had a conversation with Pastor Bill Sammons, um, and he kind of brought me around to where I'd be robbing somebody of a blessing. If by I not did. asking. Yeah, by not asking, yeah. So So then what did you do? Just so start asking so we, people? So we just put it out there that that's what we were in need of, and okay. um, just people started popping up, getting tested. Really? And, yeah. I My brother-in-law at the time, Dan, um, he... he um, was a match, but not like a perfect match. And behind okay. the scenes, Mike was getting tested, and then it came really? up, hey, Mike is a perfect match. And um, Really? Yeah, it couldn't have been orchestrated by anybody else. And you, I mean, you guys you knew know? each other, went to church together? Yeah, and the fact that we met at church, and the fact that I even started going to church, you know, like, because I wasn't a church oh, child, well, you know what I mean? Now we're getting the whole story here. Yeah. yeah, I didn't grow up in church. Mom took us every now and then, but I didn't grow up in church, and... Um, so when, this whole experience is oh, before you. Yeah. So Allowing that, somebody to be a blessing to you. Yeah. Going to church, believing yeah. God is greater than everything. Yeah. And then coming to the realization that I can allow that to happen. And, and, and I believe God was real. I don't know that I believed. I believed in miracles. I believed in things that are in the Bible. But I didn't know if it could really happen for me. I didn't believe that this instant healing, you know, like you hear about people right. go to bed one night, wake up the next morning healed. I, I it was having trouble with that for myself. And after talking to Pastor Bill, he kind of was like, well, can you believe that God can work through the hands of someone else? And I'm like, yeah, I believe that, you know. So that's kind of what got me moving towards where mm -hmm. I am today. And um, so all so, that transpired. Right. So you received part of Mike's liver. Right. So what happened to that liver? Well, Meaning, so, yeah, so so everything was great. Labs were perfect. Seven years later, all of a sudden, liver enzymes, because they were still following me. Um, I felt fine, felt perfect. I felt perfect up until um, probably July of 2020. Started really? getting sick again. But my liver functions were elevating. Um, I was showing signs of being sick, but I really wasn't outwardly showing signs okay. of being sick. Um, so... Then and it became apparent. They found out that it was scar tissue that was not allowing the bile to drain. Really? Which was backing up in the liver and destroying the liver again. Yeah. So now, again, I need another liver. Yeah. So, okay. So you let people in your community know. So we found out that you, you, can, you can be on a transplant list, but you can actually, someone can directly donate to you. So you, you skip the list. Okay. So my, my, um, the way they score you um, and the disease that I had, like you don't get high scores, but you present sicker than the scores. Okay. So I okay. could never get high enough on the list to, I probably would have never got a liver. I would have had to been pretty deathly ill to, okay. to get a liver. So you're on the list, but there's people in the community that know about it. Right. Then I'm under the impression... Do you want me to explain it or Kay, no, Kay Bennett came into the picture? Right, Kay yeah. Bennett. And Kay unfortunately a lot of couldn't know be her. here today. Yeah, <clears throat> but um, is she out plowing a field or something? I'm not sure. Okay. I don't know. If Freddie might have put her to work today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All but, right. Um, so yeah, so she and this this she wrote this. Um, I read and she this. She documented this whole thing. Ten thousand little things. You know, you you don't understand. We we can't fathom all the little things that God's orchestrating along the way. Right. Um, minute things that, that roll into the next thing and next thing you know you're you're at this place where you're like, Wow, how did that happen? And you don't realize that all these things have transpired and her connection with these folks that 
I got delivered from started far back as like 2018, I think, with this women's ministry that she got involved with. She joined a Facebook group. Um, to shorten it a little, um, she was on vacation with her husband in Florida. Yeah. Middle of the night on Facebook, sees this um, post that this friend uh, in her group had a friend that her son was tragically killed and was doing, and they were, do- the family was donating organs. Right. So she's up. Late at night, yeah. I think she had been communicating with her daughter late that night, and yeah, because her son-in-law had an issue with, with his liver. liver. Yeah, so how right. ironic is that? Right. Yeah. So she yeah. sees this person on Facebook that's a friend of hers, right, posting about a friend whose son has been mm-hmm. tragically killed, and they want to donate his organs. Right. So yeah. So what's a little Kay bit, little bit, well, a little bit prior to that, we found out that that you could. A family this could donate. donate. Yeah, direct donation. Um, so she actually, Kay had a family member that passed, but it was like a distant family member they weren't real close with. And Kelly had reached out to Kay about that. And, um, you know, she it was just wasn't comfortable. She prayed about it. It wasn't something she was comfortable right. approaching well, that awkward family about. Saying, yeah, hey, hey, can I have your family member's deceased liver? Deceased family members. Yeah, yeah kidney, That's a little weird. Liver. Yeah, yeah. So um, that kind of... But then she was aware of the right, fact that right. that was a thing. Well, then when this friend posted on Facebook that, hey, this woman's son passed, um, they're donating organs, do you know anyone who ha- who's in need? Right. She immediately reached out. And then she reached out to us. That, right. You know, and this is like 1230 in the morning, you right. know, one night. And um, so Kelly gets up frantically and grabs all, I'm probably still asleep, right? right? Um, gets all of the stuff out, the file folders, and gets her all the information. Um, and then we we go back to bed, you know. And next morning, kind of start following up on it. Um, really didn't hear anything. Transplant team, we talked to them. They hadn't really heard anything. So we were just kind of, well, we'll just ride this out. Right. I almost thought, man, eh, this is kind of too good to be true. Right. You know, didn't really think this was going to happen. Um go to bed like normal another phone call in the middle of the night on early Friday morning you know saying it's a transplant team and actually uh, what's really weird is they called us we didn't answer our phone she called my phone called Kelly's phone she didn't answer we're asleep you think they're telemarketers oh yeah called Charity my daughter Charity was in Florida visiting some, uh, a, a friend of hers she thought it was a telemarketer and hung up I think it was my son Tyler that finally answered the phone and, with an open mind. Yeah, and said, "Oh yeah." That's, so then he ended up reach out to us. So we, long wow. story short, yeah. We Aren't you up, glad that transplant team was persistent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is your transplant team. Yeah, calling you again in the middle yeah. of the night, saying something for you. Yeah, saying, "Hey, we have a we have a match," and that's even crazy too. The fact that this young man is even a match you know what i mean right he's saying where hot. was he texas so he got killed in texas mm-hmm. and through facebook through, facebook. through k bennett yeah through all this now we're talking to a guy in sussex county delaware yeah out of the area of my transplant region which is really- after you got comfortable enough to be willing to receive this gift yeah wow so then what happened so it was a match. Um, they because they have to measure everything. Well, yeah, the body size, um, blood type is is oh ama- yeah, is that a would major be a critical one. thing. Yeah. Blood type, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, identical blood type, basic same height and weight. Um, so they find out that it's a it's a match. We, they call us in. We're there. To, like they said, be here at eight thirty in the morning. So we oh, packed. this is moving right along. Oh, it's quick. Yeah, let's, where'd you go? Uh, Einstein in Philadelphia. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And did you tell me your doctors went to Texas? They The surgeons from Einstein flew. There's two so Texas. There's four, four surgeons on the transplant team. Two install the parts. Two take the parts out. Um, really? So, yeah. So two of them flew to Texas. So they um, literally took the liver out of the young man who was deceased. Brought it back to Philadelphia. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like commercial airline or private jet? I'm or? not a hundred. I would, I would imagine private, but I'm not 100% Man, sure. Man, that's got to yeah. be a bit, little bit of a bill there. 
Yeah. See where my mind went? Oh, Sorry yeah, about yeah. That. No, hey. I, Too carnal over here. So Good thing but, for a great insurance. I yeah. will say that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so then <clears throat> they get back to Philadelphia. Yeah. And they've got this liver. Yeah, so it was, it was, so we went there Friday around, we were supposed to be there like 8.30. It was Sunday morning around 8 or so that they took me back for, to prep me for what surgery. What were you thinking all this time? Well, from Friday to Sunday morning, still curious whether or not this was really going to happen or not, you know. Um, it's when they were near April 1st, was it? No. <laughs> okay. Like, yeah, we're well, not was, joking. I mean, this is real stuff. Yes. Yeah, February the 28th is when it finally happened that morning. Did it ever sink in to where God was blessing you in such a way that you were like, why are you even doing this for me? Oh, I, I still think that to this day. Yeah. In other words, you know, sometimes you think of blessings, you just want to have a good day I, or, you know, but I mean, this is, this is, yeah. this is a life. This is my third shot for, at life. Right. I mean, God's got is, big plans for you. I guess. I'm, I'm still have your own having radio trouble show. figuring it out. I told Kelly she's on her third husband, but still the same, wow, same person. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're still annoying in some way. Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> well, listen, I, I need to stop for right okay. now. Okay. Yeah. I do want you to know that we've had a comment about you here. Uh, our good friend John Atkins said that Trent, uh, so he's just, I don't even know if you know this John Atkins guy. Yeah, um, Trent's him. a childhood best friend and yearly customer, and uh, he's an inspiration. So you're an inspiration. For John to say that, cool. that's Quite a compliment. Awesome. And now tell him, tell him to come and get a free hot dog and a Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Adkins Materials having a, 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 an open house today. Yeah, so that. anyway, yeah. mm -hmm. so and I'm being told you can have more than one hot dog. All right. Free napkins too. So, <laughs> so Trent, if you could give me a break for a few right. minutes, I'm going to have good. you back on. We're going to tell some more of this amazing story. I think it's uh, amazing. I mean, you know, in other words, and you think about it, in other words, and um uh, so God is ever active and omnipresent, everybody. He is everywhere. I want to talk about Chick-fil-A real quick, just to sponsor of the show. And I want to say thanks a lot to Chick-fil-A. I was talking to him the other day just about, you know, uh, supporting the show and sponsoring the show. And I thank them and they thank me. In other words, I want to say Chick-fil-A is a great community uh, place to eat. They um, have good food all the time, salads, uh, breakfast food. Their sweet tea is really good, and I presume their unsweet tea is really good. But anyway, great service. No matter how long the line, you're going to get in, you're going to get out. It's going to be hot. It's going to be good. So anyway, uh, today I don't have time for phone calls. So if uh, you would like a gift card to Chick-fil-A, I'm going to do something special for you right now. One gift card to Chick-fil-A, one Chick-fil-A, if you dial this number, 302 Seven five one five zero zero one three zero two seven five one five zero zero one. If you dial that number, it's a voicemail. You leave me a message that you want a gift card to Chick Fil A, and I'll set one aside for you at Weller's in Bridgeville. Okay, and then you can pick it up next week. What else is going on? Weller's is open. They tell me they are busy already. I want to brag on my chiropractor friend, which is. Dr. T, Dr. Bud, you hear me talk about him every week, Peninsula Chiropractic Center. Uh, whether you need just a minor adjustment or you got some big aches and pains, you need some advice, you need some help, you need some chiropractic care, they are the go-to guys. Dr. Bud, Dr. T, I love them both. Very accommodating when you, um, when you um, what was I getting ready to say? When you call in, no, what I'm saying is when you call to make an appointment, when you call to make an appointment, they will get you in quickly. They accept most insurances, and they're a really good place to deal. So if you need chiropractic care, go where I go. Go where I say go. Do what I say. What I'm telling you is they're good people to deal with. Dr. T, Dr. Bud, I appreciate your support of the show. Phone number 302-302. You got to dial it in that order. 302-629-4344. 629-4344. Peninsula Cairo Center dot com on the web. Did I say it was Matt McCoy's birthday? Yes, I'm starting to repeat myself. Matt McCoy, happy birthday. And what's next? Uh, you know, we're going to beaches next week. I hear Charlie and Betty are here, so I don't know if I'm going to get them on, but hi to Charlie and Betty. And uh, we're going to have a few more minutes with Trent in a little bit. And then we're going to have Nicole on. And then I'm going to try to get a word with Guada. Guada's got a special gift with her today that I'm hoping we can maybe show you on the show if everybody's cool with it. So um, 
Guada, if you're listening, we might want to get you on if you're up for it. Hey, it's accountant time, tax time. By now, you've probably filed an extension. If you need any accounting help, I deal with George Luff. Very happy with him. Milford, Dover, and Rehoboth. Three locations. He helps me with my payroll. He helps me with accounting work. He helps me with anything tax-related, whether it's the best way to code it, um, our meals tax deductible, what's the best way to do things. If you need any accounting help, whether it's for personal stuff or for your business, or you need help with your business payroll, they have a system called Easy Payroll. You give Luff and Associates a call at 302-422-9699, 422-9699. It's Luff cpas.com on the web and uh, as you heard me say we're going to have trent back on in just a little bit uh, but we've got a lot to tell you greenwood barbecue chicken is on it's on it's on it's open it's working so if you want some chicken it's today and tomorrow at the greenwood fire department right there everybody loves their chicken uh what is the next thing i want to tell you about the clayton theater um if you happen to want two tickets to the clayton two tickets to the clayton Call that number I just gave out. Let me write that down. Um, to Clayton, and you call this number, okay? 302-751-5001. That's a new separate number. You're just going to get a voicemail. Leave your name and say, Jim, I would like two tickets to the Clayton Theater, and I'll set two aside for you right there. And Not there. They'll be at Weller's. You pick them up at Weller's next week. Two tickets to the Clayton Theater. They've been around a long time, over 70 years it's a nice, cozy theater. It's got a balcony, really good popcorn, and free extra butter, free napkins. And uh, they got all kinds of drinks and sodas, and their ice is really cold. And it's a great place. So if you've never been to the Clayton Theater, if you haven't been in years, check it out. And if you want two tickets to go for free, call that number I just gave out, 302-751-5001. I said Weller's is open. I can't say it again because I'm only allowed to say it so many times. But Weller's is open. we got a 20-trailer day going on, and we want you to be part of that, okay? Part of that. So um, we have a lofty goal this year. Last year we sold 1,200 trailers. This year I want to sell 2,000 trailers, and we are well on our way. We got You would not believe how many people are buying two and three trailers at one time. But we are one of the few places that have this much inventory, and we won't be undersold. So if price is the issue, we won't be undersold. We want your business at Weller's in Bridgeville. Now, let's talk about bald-faced hornets, okay? Let's talk about Pest Solution. This is my friend Keith Ruark, good sponsor of the show, Integrity Pest Solutions. It's the time wasps and hornets are getting out there and things like that. Maybe you want some pest control done. Maybe you got some ants or whatever, spiders, whatever you may have. If you need any help with anything, you give Keith a call. He's an owner-operator. When you call, you're going to get Keith. When he comes out to look at things, you're going to get Keith. And when he does the work, you're going to get Keith. I love it because that way everything pertaining to dealing with them is consistent. So if you have any type of pest control issues and you need help, you give Keith Ruark a call at 302-858-8629, 858-8629, integritypestsolutions.com on the web, okay? And uh, like them on Facebook, too, if you would. So at 8.30, at 8.30, we're going to take a quick break from the radio station, and uh, we're going to then come right back with more with Trent Collins. We want you to hear that. There's a big grand opening today at the uh, Marvel Museum today, starting at 10, the Sanger Western Auto Museum and the Boyer Train Museum. Grand opening today, today. And it's really cool. It's like a step back in time. Anybody remember Western Auto? Man, I went there a while back just to look things over and uh, make sure they had it all just right. And uh, it was really a neat step back in time. I'm like, it's when you could buy a lid for a thermos, you know, just right there. They sold sewing machines and vacuum cleaners and tires and oil changes. So if you've never been to a Western Auto and you want to, or you've been to one and you have a lot of memories, Denise bought her first bicycle at Western Auto in Dover. So anyway, um, they're having a grand opening of the Western Auto Museum at the Marvel Museum today, starting at 10. I hear the music. We're taking a break from the radio. Switch over. My radio audience, switch over to TV Delmarva or WellerDoesDelmarva.com, okay? Okay, everybody. Here he comes. Colin Walls. I was supposed to be quiet for a minute, but I could barely be quiet for a, a second. A minute. 
Man, I got, I got a lot to do here in the next half hour. Is Guada here, though? She is there. I would like you to make a guest appearance if possible. Okay? Yeah. All right. With Wesley. Okay. All right. We'll see if we can squeeze her in. All right? Uh, all right. All right. I think Colin? there's enough for him to squeeze okay. her in. Okay. Yeah. Well, She's not that big. Oh, I know. I wasn't insinuating that. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> now you've embarrassed me. I'm embarrassed. Sorry, just That's kidding. all right. That's okay. It doesn't happen often. It does, right. It's hard to embarrass Jim. <laughs> right, it he is. Got, he got all his embarrassments out early in life. Early in life. I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. All right. So uh, when I cared. When I right. cared. All right. Right. All right. What's next, Colin? Well, uh, we'll just talk a little more about TV Del Marva, Jim. So okay. what do you like best about TV Del Marva? The okay. show? Well, I like the show, of course. Okay. Here's what I really I like the fact that you got this team of people yeah. that are all focused on the same. You're like all on the same page. You know, like how sometimes companies have employees and this one kind of has their own mission. And this, right. your group is focused on local, local, and more local. Yes. And I like that. In other words, we you're are. a local businessman, 60-some uh -huh. years of, you know, being in business. Yep. And, uh, not me. Not my family. That, right. Not yeah. that Collins an old man. The, yeah. gray, the gray hairs mean nothing. No, but anyway. Gray? I don't have any gray, Jim. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we'll call him charcoal. Yeah, okay. His charcoal. <laughs> his charcoal beard. But anyway, I'm just saying that, you know, you you know, you know got all these guys around you and, mm -hmm. uh, and your mom is helping out. That's kind of cool to yep, see she that. she is. Yep. And they're looking for local things. Yesterday I watched... This fire, you know, right around the corner from my house. I was keeping yeah, an eye on it. Yeah, it wasn't far at all. Yeah, it wasn't far at all. I saw the all. smoke and I thought it was over by my house. And then the further <laughs> I got, it was a little further out. But right. yeah, yeah. But, it was... uh, and all our fire companies responded, you know. Right. You so we, think about... yeah, we had some live coverage of that. Yeah. And I mean, it was really good. And, mm -hmm. um, but just your stories that you come up with. And Rob Petrie, he's out there just kind of making sure we're all well informed. Yeah. And, you and, know? and the show right after this. Uh, oh, on yeah. TV Del Marva, the, the Reporters Weekly. Weekly. Yep. So that's a, a local show. We take our news stories from the week, and you know we, we do interviews for our news stories. And we take you know maybe what's a 10- or 15-minute interview, and we've got to condense it down to a minute or right. even less than a minute sometimes you know, as to a sound bite. But we dig a little bit deeper into it, and we give you the full interview the behind on the Reporters the scenes. Weekly. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. kind of a behind-the-scenes. Um, you know, it's shot from the what we call the editor's desk, um, so you know where they edit the video and... And wow. do that, so um, you kind of get to see a little bit behind the scenes there. So it is interesting it is cool. to see. So uh, check that out. Brand new episode this week. TV Del Marva. What's going on out there, Jim? I'm just telling her. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought there was an emergency something wrong. outside. Yeah, like you thought a hair was an out emergency of place. at the drive-through over at Burger King or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the trash truck dropped the thing on somebody. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, no, I'm trying so, to keep everything straight behind Yeah, the so scenes. the Reporters Weekly, um, that's also stream. We stream that on Facebook, too, uh, usually. Really? Yeah, yep, stream it. Well, I like that he was streaming that fire yesterday. That was pretty good, yeah. Yep. And, I, I mean, and he hung with it. Yeah, he that's did. That's what I liked. He mm -hmm. didn't abandon me. Right. You know what I mean? He was. He's hung with it, and then more companies came. And But what it made me do also really appreciate, when you see something, this was like at noon, mm -hmm. in the middle of the day, you see 100 volunteer firemen. Right that left their jobs. Mm -hmm. So you want to say thank you to them and also to their employers yeah. that allowed them to leave in the middle of the day and go deal with something. Right. I admire that. I really do. Yep. I went to buy a vehicle one time, and the guy told me up front, I'm a volunteer fireman. I want you to know that in the middle of this, if the fire whistle goes off, I am going to leave, but somebody else will finish you up. Well, how? I admired that. Huh. I, it stuck with me. I was like, you go. You wow. know what I mean? He's going to leave his job. Did the fire whistle go off? No, it didn't, but I was thinking. Did you think about calling something in just no, to test him? No, no. See if he was no. real? <laughs> Let's not talk about that now. All right, but it was a fire. It was real. Many, yeah. many, I saw them big tankers out there. It was like amazing. Oh, they had everybody with their tankers out there. Yeah, yeah. it was kind of something. Yep. So thank you to all the fire companies. Yeah. So, all right, Colin, anything else? That's it, Jim. So TV so No More, but I love yeah. it. I want to say one more thing. The ads that we make, I enjoy making the ads. You sure do. I do. I do. <laughs> and I enjoy, you know, the feedback I get. You know what Hunter you know, enjoys about him? What's adding it? All he's got to do is cut the end and the beginning. The beginning and the end off, <laughs> that's, that's all. Right. And get it to 30 seconds right. exactly. And right. he doesn't have to do a lot of editing. Right. He it. just leaves all the bologna right in the middle. <laughs> that's right. It's like, and that's it. It's like the sandwich, the bread on the ends, and the bologna's yeah. in the middle. Yep. And that's about but it. He puts but a graphic on there. But he does. Yeah, other but than that, yeah, it's, yeah, it's I have really not to be easy as on easy his end. editing, you yes. know. Yep. But um, but I enjoy it, and I love the comments because you know advertising is not necessarily meaning that immediately your phone's going to ring and people are going to come in the door. It's not what it's about. Well, the guy doesn't it's, need a trailer. 
every minute. That minute when you... you right, just because I ran the ad. Right, he doesn't you need know? a trailer, but... Because I have people say, well, I want to advertise well, that would it be to nice, work. wouldn't it? Oh, if it worked every time, right? Oh, man, yeah. it's an investment. You're yes. investing in your business, just like you rent a building or you buy a sign. Sure. You don't know when yep. the sign works or doesn't work. Mm -hmm. It's just there all the time. Yep. Advertising's the same way, but when people think of you, you want them to think of you. Exactly, yep. You know? Yeah. All right, we are going to have right. a special guest on here in a minute. Okay? Really? Yeah, we okay. really are. His name is Wesley. Okay. And he came a long way to join us. All right. Okay. Are we on the radio or what's going on over there? Okay, tell Lawrence we're ready. Just put us on the air. All right. So TV Del Marva, we really appreciate you. I appreciate yep. you, Colin, and, and all the guys that work behind the scenes and the gals. And what a great thing. I can't imagine where uh, this is going to be in a year or two. Oh, know? I know. Uh, hopefully I mean, we're going to be on cable, you know, so we're putting a package together right now. Um, oh, really? Yeah, I mean, we're a, a news station that has won na a, a national award. We You were not supposed to say that, I think. Well, I think we can say it. We can't, we're not going to say what it is yet. Okay, okay. Or, you know, where we place okay. or anything yet. But uh, so we, we definitely won best newscast. Reasonably. For Delaware. Yeah, best newscast yeah. Uh, from the Delaware Press Association. So. Right. Yeah, that's we won that. We won a couple other awards with them as well. But we went on to a national contest, and we'll talk about that Later. when we can. Yeah. All, right. All right. We're prepping for the radio. We get my collar straight. Everything good? All right. Guada, get down here real quick because we are pressed for time, young lady. I want to be in this picture. So, Wesley, can you look that way? Wesley. Oh, don't, <laughs> don't make me nervous like that. <laughs> yeah. Woo hey there. How you doing? Smile. Okay, look over there. Look over there. All right. All right, here we go. Are we good? All right, let's move on with things. All right. Wada, this is your grandson. My grandson. I've only heard about him a thousand times from her, okay? His name is Wesley. Wesley Parker Johnson, nine months old. Nine months old. Look at that head of hair. Yeah. <laughs> Wesley yep. has no idea how happy he has made Guada. Yeah. So it's exciting. Brad and Guada are just so excited to have him in their family. So uh, hi there. Hi. 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 <laughs> I'm going to give him a keychain. Maybe that'll. You want a keychain? He has no idea what I'm talking about. What's a key? Hey, by the time he's driving. Look, 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 oh, oh Vanderwin's gift look, cards. Yeah. Look. look. So, I'm going to give him some Vanderwind's gift cards while think? we're at it. What do you think? He don't know. Can you think about this? Look at this picture. By the time he is old enough to drive, there will be no such thing as a keychain. Because there will be no car keys. There will be nothing. You'll just breathe and the car will start. Some Vanderwind gift cards. Guada, yeah. I'm so happy to see you so happy. Yep, and uh, his daddy's here actually, but he's shy. Oh, I saw his dad sporting a new hairdo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, well, we appreciate all his service. All the way service. from Newark. It's his first there we time, go. and uh, his Good. daddy said we're going to go to the beaches. Wow, so. well, there you go. Oh, you're going to go to the beaches or the beaches beaches? Good. when we go to the beach. Really? Yeah, okay, yeah. all right. All right. We're yeah. going to let you go. Is that thank okay? You. Thank you. Bye -bye. Say thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay, have a good grip on him. You're making me nervous. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's finish up with Trent. Because we left you all in suspense. In other words, a liver is available. Trent, this is Trent Collins. Trent was called to go to surgery. And now we're going to share with you what happened after that. Is that correct, Trent? Yeah. Well, you've done good. We've, we've got a lot in so far. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. So now we're in Philadelphia at the Einstein mm -hmm. Hospital or yeah. Institute yeah. or whatever. He yeah, Einstein and, Medical Center. Yeah. And you're sitting there thinking, how can this be, this just guy from Sussex County, Delaware. Yeah, get getting a liver a all liver. the way flown from Texas. Yeah. Right. All these people cared about you. Isn't that yeah, something? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It is. It is. So yeah. what, what happened next? Um, they basically contacted us or you know the one of the PAs came in the room and said looks sounds like we're gonna take you around eight o'clock as long as everything is on time and then one this is in the morning right in the morning yeah okay. on Sunday morning yeah did did you know for sure it was the liver from the young man in Texas yeah we okay, knew so it, we no knew question. if it was gonna be a go we knew that's where it was coming okay from. yeah okay yeah have you met his family no 
Okay. Um, they did send us the link, um, and we we watched his service. Um, really? Yeah. Late, yeah. How old was he? Twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Twenty one years. There's a song out there. Yeah. Twenty one yeah. years. Toby Mac's son. Yeah. Yeah. He's Twenty one years old. Wow. She. Um, anyway. She just made the correlation of, of how it was Friday to Sunday. Um, right. You know, yeah. Three just, days. Yeah. Yeah. Out of that grave. <laughs> we yeah. a song here for it. Yeah. That, wow. hit, that hit me pretty good just a minute ago, thinking yeah. about that, you know. Yeah. Because the whole purpose of explaining this is, number one, it's a wonderful thing. But the yeah, power. The, the, oh, yeah. The medical of, side of it, it's, it's amazing what, right. what medical technology can do. But how, how, God, how God orchestrates works. everything. Yeah. That's, that just blows my mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, and it's this what Kay wrote the you know this conference she went to about ten thousand little things right it's you don't you just don't realize what's going on in the background until the big thing happens and you're right. like how could this be and you yep. you start thinking back and looking back and it's like all these little now. things yeah you know it. it's crazy so you got the liver got the liver and everything's going good yeah. Um, well, I remember waking up that night, tube in my mouth. I saw the clock. It was like eight o'clock. And you knew it telling was telling them done. get get like get this thing out. Like really? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't I don't remember that the first transplant. I don't remember that piece. This time it was like I was choking on it. Like I was like get it out. And, really? And the doctors, I could hear them talking. Well, it's too early. We need to check this. We need to check that. <laughs> like. Like they had me restrained. I'm like, get it out. You know? Really? And um, finally, they pulled it out. They got me my phone. I was like, 10 o'clock. I called Kelly and said, I'm, I'm awake. Really? Wow. So yeah. did you have any lapse of memory or anything? Or, I mean, I obviously don't. I I, rem, I don't remember. I remember them saying, okay, we're gonna start wheeling you back, and then I don't remember that anything was from there. Wow. Yeah, they gave me something, you know, on the way back, like they do. And no kidding. Yeah. And then I w woke up. There was a clock straight ahead of me. I, I have a crazy question. Yeah. What happened to the old liver that's in you? Um, Did they take it out? Or? They, they usually send them to pathology. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They no, I didn't it know if it's still in yeah. there. In other words, no, no, I didn't know. Right. Like, no, how many livers a body can hold? Yeah, no. So kidney transplants, now that's a different story. Right, um, they, they, thought... they actually put them up in the front of the abdomen, and the old ones just kind of shrivel up and, and, and die. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, but no, this is a whole plumbing issue they 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 literally it plummet plummet back in there yeah now what are you doing now for a living i became a nurse um yeah so after because the, of this yeah the first transplant um we always did construction my whole life and right. business my whole life and um so do you use a tape measure when you're as a oh, nurse oh yeah i still do no not as a <laughs> nurse yeah well actually i, I do because i put, i now put pick lines in really um, so i have, to, have measure, to measure them. measure all the way yeah to really? see how long i gotta cut them yeah all right <laughs> It's in do, centimeters. Do you go by so. eighth of an inch? Like centimeters. That? Centimeters. Yeah, oh, my gosh. Yeah. What's a centimeter? <laughs> I what a centipede is. Everything in a medical field is metric. You know? Really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. But yeah. First, after the first transplant, um, got inspired by a lot of nurses in the medical field, and the economy went south on us in, like, 2008. So you went from building houses went to... building houses to helping people. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Wow. Worked in the ER for... Up until about two years ago, I worked in the ER. Okay, at BB. Yeah, at BB. Yeah, okay. worked for BB. Do you still work for BB? Still work for BB, yeah. You going to uh, be there Monday? Uh, no, I'll be there Wednesday. Okay, just checking. <laughs> <laughs> I got four days off, so I'm excited okay. about that. Okay, yeah. well, good. Yeah. Is there anything else you wanted to say? I mean, I, I think we've got it out there pretty good. Yeah. You know, um, Kay um, Bennett, we want to say a big yeah, thank you to I, her. Huge thanks to Kay. I, without Kay's obedience, this probably wouldn't have even happened. I think... As I read through that, though, I felt like the Lord was really stretching Kay, too. Yeah, she she felt like she, it was like she was being tugged at to, to either reach out or right, share something. Right, whether to call something. you at midnight or not, yeah, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. And just the fact that she was awake and aware at that time of night. You all, know, I mean, we go to bed at 10 o'clock every night. Like, wow. I, I would have missed it, you know what right. I mean? You know. Well, yeah, so it's just God's it's just timing crazy. is just unbelievable. Yeah, you know? it really is. And we we at some at one point, I don't know, December, I got sick a little bit again, and just kind of thought, I don't know, this is. And they and they were shutting us down on getting the uh, provisional points to boost my score to get me up oh. the list. And I was at a place where I was like, I don't I don't think this is ever going to happen. Really? Yeah. And wow. you know, 
and then it happened faster than your brain and could we adjust. Couldn't even, yeah, we couldn't even comprehend it. Yeah. There wasn't even time to say no. No. <laughs> it just happened so fast. That's right. So, yeah. so if somebody wants to get a hold of Trent or hear more or hear anything else, what do you, how would somebody reach out to you? You're a local guy. You live yeah. in Sussex County, yeah, right? We, yeah, we live over just outside of Harveston and on the way to Lewis. Um, um, so are you on Facebook? I'm on Facebook, yeah. So right. Trent Collins on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. So if you want to know more or get to know him. Yeah, or, be glad to you know, share if somebody's um, going through something. Um, right. You know, in need of a liver transplant and wants some more, have questions. Um, How did Kelly tape it. all this? Um, she's, she's a trooper. I, I couldn't do this without her. She's a good I mean, girl. Oh, yeah. We got a good family all around here. Oh, yeah. We fulfilled all of our wedding vows for rich or poor, sickness and health. Right. You know? Yeah. yeah. We've, been, we've been through it all. Yeah. 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 Oh, good. 30 years. We just celebrated our 30th really? anniversary. Well, congratulations. Yeah. All right. Yep. Well, I'm going to wind down with you. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think we did good. You happy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to give you some gifts now that you're here. Oh, I didn't expect gifts. That's yeah. all right. This is a Weller's <laughs> keychain. Well, that's cool. All right. And here's a Weller Does Delmarva keychain. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Do you eat ice cream? Oh, you're not allowed to eat ice cream, are you? Yeah, I can eat ice cream. Are you sure? Yeah, I used to go to Dairy Queen. But... Oh, well, we're going to take you from Dairy Queen to Vanderwins. That'd be awesome. Yeah, okay? no, yeah that's awesome. So there's some Vanderwins, okay? Awesome. Yeah. And I want you to take Kelly to the movies. Oh, okay. At the Clayton Theater. Will you do that sometime? Yeah, absolutely. She All loves right. the movies. Yeah. Well, there's that, that, that. <laughs> Awesome. Um, I would give you cash, but I don't have my wallet nah, on that's me. that's good. I don't so, need cash. <laughs> all right. I'm going to say right. thank you very much. Yeah. I'm proud yeah. of you. I'm happy for you. This is a great thing. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thank you. We're going to let you go. All right. Cool. Thank Thanks. you, Trent. Yep. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. See ya. All right. So there he goes. I want to brag on Dawn Kennedy real quick. I'll be there cleaning and care. Just had her recently do a, a house trailer for me um, in Lincoln. It was a rental i never seen the blinds so clean. She was amazing. So if you need your house cleaned, if you need your business cleaned, if you need your offices cleaned, uh, whether you need it done once, whether you're a contractor and you've got a house, you're rehabbing it, and now you want a nice detailed cleaning, an Airbnb, um, if you got a motorhome or a camper and you want the inside cleaned, I'll be there cleaning and care. Dawn Kennedy does a fantastic job. I'm very happy with her. I think she's very reasonable. Give her a call. Estimates are free. She's licensed. She's insured. She's a good girl. She'll do a good job for you. Her name is Dawn. Dawn Kennedy. 302-362-7064. That's 362-7064. Dawn Kennedy. I'll be there cleaning a care. Like her on Facebook, too, if you would. And she's an herbalist. So she's always giving out some tips. And there are discounts for first responders, seniors, and military people. All right, our next guest has arrived. Um, we are going to take a picture. I'm going to do one more sponsor segment, and then we're going to talk to Nicole. So hold on. We're taking a picture. Ready? <laughs> she got it. All right, so she's doing really good. Hey there. So let's talk to Nicole now so we can start the timer, and then I'll do my last thing after, after Nicole. Okay. Nicole, how are you? I'm great. How are you, Jim? I'm wonderful. Good. Um, we're talking about... A park that used to be in Harrington. Correct. Called Wheelers, not Wellers, but Wheelers. Wheelers Park. Correct. And I remember it as a child, and you don't remember it as a child. I do not. Because you bought the property, and it's, you know, it's been going for years. Right. But what do you got coming up? I mean, I guess you own this property, and people are always bringing up these memories of Wheelers Park. Yep. Some wonderful memories uh, from the community have been shared with us, and uh, we found it uh, really heartening to be part of it and hear all this. So um, last year we had our first annual uh, Wheelers Park open house. Okay. Nick Morris is part of the Harrington High School alumni. Um, he is doing alumni weekend in Harrington and has really? requested that we host um, the Harrington High School alumni from noon to 4 p.m. Really? So we're excited what a remembrance to remembrance for them, them, you know? Yeah, we're excited to welcome them uh, back to Wheelers Park. Uh, it's just for the high school alumni. We'll have our okay. second annual um, open park uh, in October. So be okay. looking for that on the Greater okay. Harrington um, Historical Society Facebook page. So this is just for the Harrington High School alumni. We will have... Um, memorabilia from the high school at at the house we will be having uh video from back in the day hopefully wow. we'll have some wheelers park kids say hey that's me 
Um, we're looking forward to meeting them and hearing their stories. You know, the park will never be what it once right, was, right, right. but um, we're very proud to own it and be taking care of it and keeping its memory alive. Wow. So the next event, there's an event coming in, I forgot what month. Uh, this month, it'll be May 7th. Uh, is the alumni weekend. But, but we're, we're not really saying to the public, don't come. We're saying don't come May 7th. There's nothing right. for the public on, May, the 7th. Public on okay. May 7th. This is for the alumni. Yes, okay. this is Harrington High School alumni only. All right, so we'll, but, but if somebody's watching right now, they're allowed to come and just look around? Absolutely. We welcome you to come to the property. We What's, prefer you park on Harrington Avenue, not Harrington, on 2nd Avenue. Right. So, so, And there's enough room at the end of Harrington Avenue to park. Absolutely. So don't come up and knock on your door. Right. You're saying, but if you want to see where Wheeler's Park was, or if you want to say, oh, I remember, because there's still some structures there in the Wishing Well. That's right. And so on. So they can come pretty much any time, yes. day, daylight hours, you know, at the end of Harrington Avenue. Correct. All right. But May 7th, it's just for the Harrington alumni. Then there's another, this is the other event coming later in the year. When is that? Later in the year, October 16th. So mark that on your calendar. Yep. Be watching for updates on the Greater Harrington Historical Society Facebook page. We'll update there. And we'll also post some pictures from Alumni Weekend. I had this incredibly butchered up myself. I had this awesome. all backwards. It's just unbelievable. I'm thinking, okay, so I got it all now. I need to be in the Harrington alumni to come <laughs> yes. on May 7th. Okay. So that's all I've learned is I need to join the Harrington alumni. But no, I'm just messing. But Wheeler's Park was a good thing. Mr. Wheeler was quite a man. And, and um, so you knew that it was a Wheeler's Park there when you bought the property. Uh, we knew about it very vaguely. We fell okay. in love with the property, the grounds, the house, um, and we bought it from uh, Mr. Wheeler's grandson, Richard okay. Wheeler. Uh, so he was it that with concrete us. picnic table that attracted you to it? That was part of the charm. <laughs> I mean, how many people have a concrete picnic table? Well, and there's a statue in the middle of the pond. Right. Uh, so, <laughs> and there's the gazebo. That's right. Um, the gazebo is a really the good well. feature. And the wishing well. Right. Yeah. So um, for Alumni Weekend, we'll have the gazebo decorated in Harrington High School oh, colors okay. of blue and gold. There you go. So, you know, bring your cell phones, have a friend take a picture in front of the gazebo. Um, hopefully we'll have nice weather and it'll be a good time. Well, well, I'm glad you bought it. I'm glad you're willing to let people just come down and walk around and have some memories of it. You know, it's kind of a nice thing, you know. It is. You could just put a fence up and say no. Right. You know, it's so. too pretty not to share. Yeah. Well, that's very good. Anything else we need to know? No, just alumni. We're looking forward to welcoming you May 7th. Harrington alumni. Four. All right. Where are you from? I'm originally from Connecticut. Oh, just up the road. Just up the road. Just up the road. <laughs> hey, I'm going to give you a, did I ever give you a keychain last time yes, you were you here? Did. Do you need any more? Sure. Oh, okay. Going to give you a Weller's one then. Okay. Thank you. Do you happen to like ice cream? I love ice cream. Does your husband like ice cream? He likes ice cream too. Okay. Well, I'll give you two of them then. How's that? that will be great. Have you been to Vanderwind yet? Not yet. Really? Oh, this is why we give them away. We need you to go there. <laughs> hey, would you be up for going to the movies sometime? Absolutely. The Clayton Theater is like a 70-year-old theater really? down in Dagsboro. And they play first-run movies. You can learn about them at ilovetheclayton.com. But here's two tickets to go to the movies sometime. Well, thanks for that. We are history buffs, so oh, that's you something would love we it. would definitely it's love It's a very to go quaint, see. quaint little place, in other words, you know. And um, it's really kind of neat. Okay, I'm going to let you go if that's okay. All right. I yeah. am out of time. All right, All right. Thanks, see Jim. you. Thank you very much. All right, here we go, folks. Here is a sponsor segment. People say, what's a sponsor segment? It's a paying advertiser is what it is. It's a sponsor segment. And I have to say it because we're going to try to sell you something, all right? So anyway, this is a dry zone. You hear me talk about them all the time. Dryzone.com. You can learn so much about them at dryzone.com. All right. Bill and Heather Anderson own and operate Dry Zone. They do crawl space encapsulation. They do poly level. You got a, uh, a basement that, you know, has got leaks in it. You need a sump pump. If you want to remodel your basement, you want to remodel your garage, they have another division called Hello Garage. So it's just a great local company. If you're out there and you're listening and you want a new job and you want a career change, they're always, always adding to their staff. They have Team Dry Zone. And it just keeps growing and growing and growing because they're looking for people that are passionate 
about it's not just a job with them. It's about, you know, doing a good job and being passionate about what you do. So if that's you and you want to talk to them, stop in Monday through Friday and, and, and fill out an application. But uh, they're always looking to grow. You can learn a lot about them. So it's hellogarage.com and it's dryzone.com. I'm going to give you a phone number. You got any questions? You want to talk to them about anything? Estimates are free for sure. And uh, I've dealt with them for many, you know, for years now on multiple projects and never been disappointed. Very happy with them. Like their price, like their product, like their service. I like them as people. So anyway, it's Dry Zone 302 684 5034. 684 5034 dryzone.com. All right, Charlie and Betty are here somewhere. I don't know if they left or whatever. Donald, you doing okay? Okay. Donald McElvain has hung out all morning long. So we're going to be at Beaches next Saturday. Beaches, all right? So this is our last time here at Laurel Junction for now. I mean, we could be back here in six months, okay? So we are going to be at Beaches for sure uh, for six months. So that's where we're going to be for the next six months starting next Saturday. I believe next weekend is Mother's Day weekend. I think it is. I hope it is. Anyway, I want to just tell you that we'd like to pack the place next Saturday morning. So if you would consider coming down, we're not having a free breakfast or anything, but we're inviting people. I don't know exactly how many tables are there. I think 20 or 30. Linda, did you count how many tables there were? Yeah, about 30, she said. Yep. So anyway, so anywhere between 20 and 50. So I'm just letting you know that beaches, we are going to be there next Saturday. Linda will not be there. I just remembered that again. Oh, we're going to be able to talk about her just wide open. So she'll be watching. But anyway, so next Saturday, May 7th, is our first show in Milton. I don't even know if we've ever been to Milton before. So we're – have we ever been to Milton, guys? I can't remember. I don't think so. So our first show in Milton, Delaware – um, we are going to be there. We're hoping the police chief stops by. We need the fire chief to stop by, and we need the mayor to stop by. We won't have any time to talk to you, but you're welcome to stop by. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to have giveaways. We're going to have a good time, but it's next Saturday, May 7th is the first time. If you can't make it next Saturday, you know, come when you can. We'll be there every Saturday morning from 7 to 9 starting this coming Saturday. You know, they have breakfast on Saturdays and Sundays, okay? Now, what they really have is on Wednesday, they got two crab cakes. I'm talking good, meaty crab cakes. This is a real commercial segment now. Two crab cakes, not one but two, and two sides. Their potato, potato salad is really good, okay? So, anyway, I'm just letting you know it's only 20 bucks. They got it right. It's either 20 or 30. Was it 20? 20 bucks. Think about that. Where in the world can you get two crab cakes, two for 20 with two sides, and free ice water, okay? And they give you ice with the water, all right? And you know what else they give you? Napkins, but straws. You know how rare it is to get straws anymore? It's like a big deal. And they're new. They give you brand new straws, not used ones. So anyway... Oh, my goodness. I'm giving them a hard time. Don Allen, you have no idea what you're in for. We're going to have a good time there at Beaches. And uh, what is the lady's name that's the, that in, in charge? Kiki. All right. So we're going to be there entertaining you from Beaches. We have had a good time here at Laurel Junction. Mike Mercer, Chef Fred, Diane, everybody that has been here, we say thank you, thank you, thank you for all the people that come to the show regularly. We appreciate you. Um, and we'll be giving you a permit to come to the other show if you want. It's going to require a permit to get in. No, but we're going to be at Beaches every Saturday morning. We'd like you to stop by. I know Snooky Vent and Pat are going to come. Anyway, there's my old vehicle just went by. So anyway, so they're very happy with it. Um, so with that said, Weller's is open tomorrow. I will be greeting you at the door at United United in Milford. It's a church, United Church, okay? Anyway, um, I'm just letting you know I'll be there. I'll be there at 9 o'clock sharp. I should be on time. That means sharp. So their first experience is at 9 o'clock. Second one is at 1030. So um, if you would like to say hi to me, I'll be there. And I'll be wearing my little um, solar panel right here. So um, I got my stitches out yesterday. Didn't go as good as I hoped. Took a little longer. She was wrangling with them. I had a friend of mine named Donald said, wet them, wet them, wet them. So I told her to. I said, get a warm and wet them things. I said, 
because it gets the blood clots off of the strings when they're pulling them. So you got to wet them. So that's my medical tip of the day. When you're having stitches removed, encourage them to wet the area, okay? It loosens things up a little bit. But um, so I still got a hole in my head. I can't believe it. So they give, now I got an antibiotic cream and something to fight infection I have to take. So I'm like, I'm not done yet, folks. So uh, that's that. All right. Uh, I think that's about it. We're about out of time. Thank you, everybody, for watching the show, for joining the show. This was one of my busier shows. I will say this. John Atkins is having an open house right now at Atkins & Sons Materials in, I've, oh, my gosh. Hey, Steve, where is John Atkins' place called? He don't know. It's, uh, it's down in Millsboro. Down in Millsboro. Dan Gaffney's there live. Stay tuned. They're giving away free hot dogs and sodas. Go there right now. All right. Thanks, Steve, for the input. I was struggling. Uh, anyway, so we're still on TV, everybody. And I just want to say thanks for watching the show. And we have had a good time here this morning. TV Del Marva's got a lot of stuff going on. If you ever want to be involved or buy some advertising or whatever, just give Colin a call on the telly. 302-242-8015.